hot comic book movie news Shooting up your butthole The Weekly Planet, The Weekly Planet Welcome back everybody to another episode of The Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows My name is James, also known as Mr. Sunday With me as always is my co-host Nick Mason Hello there Wow, what a time to be in a podcast time how, isn't it though? They yeah. said we couldn't do it. You know who you know? said that? Well, I mean, Who's they say they, they said they said they said James has lost his touch. They said James, uh, you know, he he doesn't have the passion for comic book movie news anymore. They said James, you know, I'm a shill. Yeah, they said James was a shill. <laughs> They're saying all sorts of bad stuff about some us. of those things. Contradict though, like if I've lost my passion and I'm a shill, I guess you could do that though. Yeah, that that'd be that's fine. Yeah, they right. say James is cheating on his taxes. They what? Say, yeah, yeah. Who yeah. said that? They, they're just saying it. But nobody knows that for sure, do they? No, they're just, they're, they're saying someone's It's not talk- even worth looking at because it's a rumour, isn't they're, it? They're saying somebody's talking to the ATO. They're saying somebody on the inside at Weekly Planet Industries ah, I don't think you need to, to I don't think you need to worry about that. <laughs> that's, a, that's a vicious rumour and not even worth even entertaining, <laughs> quite frankly. Yeah. Mason. It's a big news week, It is a big news week, And it's a big Jurassic World week. Oh, absolutely. As it has been six times uh, throughout our lifetimes. Six plus whatever Camp Cretaceous is. Yes, and various video gaming. Video games, sure, yeah. And books, et cetera. Remember that time we lived a life as a velociraptor? I do remember that. That Mega Drive game. Oh, I I thought you meant when we put on that costume and I was the head (laughs) and you were the legs and we we ran around the park. Sure, yes. <laughs> so that's the, that's the, exactly what I meant, yes. Okay, yes. good. Uh, if people want to jump to that, that's fine because Collings, who edits this, puts time codes in the description. We'd lean in in our costume and be like, hey, kids, you want to play a Mega Drive game? <laughs> like, get away from us. <laughs> uh, in addition to that, uh, we've got a bunch of news. We've got some small Spider-Man news. Some we've, small Spider-Man news. Small Spider-Man news. news. We've got some Thunderbolts news. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, what else have we got here? Some Netflix gaming news. Ooh. Some, uh, some Duke Nukem news. <laughs> trailers ahoy. For Duke Newscom. Duke, Duke Newscom. Trailers for Prey, uh, Black Adam and the Sandman. Joker 2, uh, The Boys Season 4. And, of course, an, a much-requested update on the Seth Green NFT. <laughs> Has debacle. it really been much requested? <laughs> Not true. Well, both of us. Or have you decided you have an enemy out there in the world of entertainment? And you're like, I'm going to get this guy. Yeah, it's both. Yeah, great. Well, uh, I mean, why not? Two birds with one stone. Exactly. Also, just want to quickly mention. Two birds with one stone. Wow, right? look at him. Let's say anything. Um, Mason, <laughs> we've got a Weekly Planet Clips channel now on YouTube. Terrific. Uh, which for Dal- How do you find it? You search Weekly Planet just, Clips. Yeah, it doesn't have its own uh, URL as, as of yet because you've got you to build up to it and whatever. And i got to okay. think of one. Um, <laughs> and. So, yeah, so there's going to be, like, highlights from this go up plus uh, older um, clips as well. That is in addition to, of course, uh, Sarabi is taking care of the Weekly Planet on TikTok as well. Oh, There's so many platforms. So, please, uh, if you are interested in hearing things that you hear here but with some visuals. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, my God, you're in for a treat. Mason. Yes. Off the success of Mor- the Morbius re-release, mm, uh, Sony are at it again. And by that I mean they clearly... <laughs> Well, like, we need to make some money back on that Morbius re-release. Oh, is this? Can I guess what this Go is? Go for it. Is this they're putting Spider-Man No Way Home back in cinemas? They said, you wanted more Spider-Man and you got it. Hashtag Spider-Man No Way Home. The more fun stuff version swings into movie theatres in the US and Canada September 2nd. More countries to be announced soon. Whoa. There's going to be some uh, some additional deleted scenes. Remember they did that for Avengers and it was like a weird yeah, it was the, Hulk preview. Yeah, it was the, the Hulk animatic where he's like, oh, I'm off, I'm checking the mail. Yeah. Oh, nothing in my mailbox. I saw an image of that and went, I hate that. Mm-hmm. And I didn't go back to theatres. Yeah. And I'm also not going back to theatres for Absolutely this. not, no. Is this going to be interspersed in the movie or is it just going to be the regular movie, and then you get to the end, and it's like here's some deleted Surely scenes. interspersed. Also, as I, I wish it was at the start. Look, based on a Twitter scuttlebutt, also I read about that, and apparently th- all these all these deleted scenes were promised on the Blu-ray, and they oh, just yeah, they didn't took it do off, it. Didn't they? That's yeah. right. Yeah, great. That's fun. That is fun. Good yeah. work, Sony. So you know they're, they're doing good stuff. Nobody <laughs> can deny that. I think mate, this is backlash, like because people were mean to them and <laughs> made them re-release Morbius. <laughs> Wait, which part is the which part is the like, backlash? I don't know. The, the, the re-releasing it and taking him off. No, because they took it off the Blu-ray before that. Didn't Do you think they? that was pre-punishment? Yeah, they knew. They okay. knew already. <laughs> People hate us. Let's get ahead of this. Yeah, they're putting out memes, but I don't. I think they're they're making fun of us. Yeah, 
Let's so, get them. That's a, like one of the good things about Disney Plus is they have a bunch of extras and deleted scenes mm. like in there. I think that like, come on, man, what are you doing? Who's going to see this? Not me, certainly. Probably yeah. you say that now, but probably another five hundred million dollars worth of people. No, I don't reckon. No, mate, it's on. You can get it. I know, but people want to see it at the big screen again. Yeah, but people can just film those clips and watch them on Twitter or whatever. That's true. Which is what will happen inevitably. Anyways, good luck to Sony. God bless you. We love you and we support you. Don't we, Mason? Yes. Uh, are you excited for this news via deadline? Gosh, this feels like a trick. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. Good, because it's the Thunderbolts movie, Mason. I was right. He was right. Yes. But it said it says specifically here they want to make a bad one. So in a way, you're excited for a bad oh, no, movie. No, no, I don't want to see a bad movie, no. <laughs> but I've put all my cards on the table now and I threw in my full support for it. That's right. Oh. Well, what do you do? Anyway, no, there doesn't... <laughs> Guess I better be relentlessly positive about it, even if it turns out to be bad. <laughs> so Jake Schreier is going to be directing uh, this movie. Uh, mm-hmm. for, he's the director of Paper Towns and Robot and Frank. Now, Paper Towns I'm aware of, yeah. but I don't know what it is. Uh, Cara Delevingne really... something, is it? Oh, is that right? Okay, maybe. I think it was based on a book of the same name. Okay, is it the sequel to Elizabeth Town? Yes, absolutely it Terrific. is. Uh, Paper Towns, yeah, Cara Delevingne and... The guy from the guy from Hereditary. Ah, great. Mm. Uh, so there you go. Uh, anyway, that was in 2015. I think that was the last movie he directed because Robert and Frank was before that. Robert yeah. and Frank, I really enjoyed from memory. I have no memory of that. At it all. was where uh, the old guy trains a robot to rob a do a diamond heist with him. So it's a real steel spinoff. It's exactly that. That's yeah, terrific. Now here's a here's a little bit of news. I don't know if you have it on there, but um, Kurt Busiek. Who wrote? Uh, who who created the Thunderbolts? Or he at least so. So for people who this don't your know, your one bit of news. This is my one bit of news. So for people who don't know, the Thunderbolts uh, arrived in Marvel comics. They were like the, the the all the heroes had disappeared into a into a, uh, a shameless cash grab in a slightly different universe called Heroes Reborn. Yes. And in the meantime, New York City was missing. You know, didn't have any heroes. So this new team of heroes showed up called the Thunderbolts. But then at the end of the first issue, it is revealed that in fact they are all sort of rebranded villains led by Baron Zemo who yes. decided to pretend to be heroes, insert themselves into the New York's public consciousness and right. be hailed as the heroes and then they can do some evil crime. But then, of course, a bunch of them are like, I actually like being a hero. Maybe, yeah. maybe we're here. I love this costume. Yeah. yeah right. That's enough of to sway me. Exactly right. So – um, were they were they new heroes or were they like I'm the new Captain America? No, they were all new heroes. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Baron Zemo was Citizen V, I think mm-hmm. was his name, and he was like sort of he he was a he was a quite European looking villain with a uh, man with a with a big scimitar, but he also had like an American flag cape, and people oh, were nice. like, oh, that's all American. But like, there's a there's a villain called Screaming Mimi, and she became Songbird. Mm. The Beetle became the Beatles. Mark One. The Be- okay. he became the Beatles. <laughs> Good, good. We're here to save New York. <laughs> We're on the Thunderbolts. Oh, Ringo has fallen down a storm drain. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, well. He's going to be eaten by those New York alligators in the, <laughs> in the sewers. Oh, no. <laughs> Ringo, no. Um, but but, but uh, so that, that team was created by Kurt Busiek, who was the writer, and Mark Bagley, who was like a longtime Spider-Man yes. artist. And Kurt Busiek on Twitter he pointed out that he and Bagley have a deal with Marvel, like, oh. in a, like so they will get some, they will get some money off this. This isn't one of those things where was that they, them just like being. So just to be clear, yeah, I think so. There yeah. is an existing deal in place. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they haven't contacted us yet and have forgotten. Oh, maybe, maybe, <laughs> but yeah, definitely the the because Kurt Busiek, uh, you know, is must find this very Busiek, I'd imagine. <laughs> It's very good. Thank you. You should have a podcast or a YouTube series or something called Kurt Busiek Finds This Very Amusiac. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, he was quite a big deal. He's, he created Astro City, which is like this big independent superhero. Oh, superior I don't think book. I've read Astro good. City. Yeah. Good. Took a long time to, to wind up, but uh, mm. worth it. But among other things, so I think he was probably a creator who had enough juice to be like, you need to give us a deal. So no. if this gets turned into a movie. We're not doing this for nothing. We're not doing this for nothing. So I think that's, you know, that that is good. Because as we know, uh, you know, recently a lot of uh, creators have been like, oh, they turned my character into a movie and uh, they're giving me then five. They, then they shot me. <laughs> <laughs> they gave me $5,000 and then they shot me when I went to pick it up. <laughs> they're like, there's your money, pick it up. Pick it up. But what? you'll shoot me, sir. <laughs> pick, pick up your money. <laughs> 
You pick up the money. This is, you earn that money. You just pick up the money. But I, but you, this is a trick. You just pick up. This is a little gift from Marvel to you, buddy. <laughs> Why don't you pick up your money? Bang! <laughs> ah! We're taking the money back. Yeah. And we put dog poo in it, but we're still taking it. <laughs> um, so what? some of the characters, uh, this is from the article, that could potentially appear include Baron Zemo, mm-hmm. Yelena B- uh, Belo- Belo- Belova. Belova, yes. Thank you. A ghost. Oh, yeah, of course. Taskmaster, the Abomination, US Agent, and the Winter Soldier. Uh, and here's a quote from the article. Uh, General, Thun- General Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross is also a possibility since he is the person in the comics who assembles the first team, hence the name. But that is unconfirmed as no deal for the actor has closed. He's dead. He's fucking dead. William Hurt is dead. <laughs> he died. Also, he didn't form the first team. I think he formed the first... Okay, so... So two things wrong here. Two things wrong here. The dead, the thing about William Hurt being dead. Uh, but yeah, he, I, I think I suspect. For, look, from what I remember, yeah, uh, they were just formed by Baron Zemo because yep. they're evil. Maybe they've retconned it. I don't know. But I, I think potentially there might have been a later team that Thunderbolt Ross. Sure. Had, had so they were called themselves the Thunderbolts. Yes, but not after Thunderbolt. Maybe. Or did he Maybe become? Just they were big fans. Did he become Maybe Thunderbolt? Ms. Marvel situation. Did he become Thunderbolt Ross after the team? Was no, like, he was, was always. That was my idea. <laughs> no. My idea. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it's obviously going to be led by, I'd imagine, Allegra de Fontaine, played by uh, Julia Louis Dreyfus. That's yeah. right. Who's been introduced in movies and TV shows for Marvel? So I'd imagine that's what they've been setting up for for a while now. Yes. Looking at these characters, most of them are, are good now. Anyway, like Baron Zemo, sort of, I guess. Black Widow is Ghost turned good. Taskmaster turned good also. Is that right? Did she? Yeah, I guess she did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Abominations just doing doing mm. cage fights. U.S. Agent. I don't know about that actually. That one. But um, and Bucky is Bucky. Yeah. But were there any actual like villains? What about Sam Rockwell? He'd be Justin good. Hammer. Yeah, get him to be like this. Just get him to Iron build Man. a bunch of faulty weapons. Yeah, or just be the Iron Man. Be crap Iron Man. Yeah, I, guess I would love that. Crap Iron Man. I mean, Iron Man is crap. Even, cra- even crapper, I say and, anything. Yeah, so I will, Mason. Mm. It's because I'm a shill and I'm and I don't care or whatever the thing yeah. is. Anyway. Look, I'm looking at the Wikipedia page now, mm-hmm. and it started as Baron Zemo's Thunderbolts. He didn't call them Baron Zemo's Thunderbolts. That would have been a bit of a giveaway. <laughs> yeah, it would have been. With the latest hero team, Baron Zemo's Thunderbolts. Baron Zemo couldn't make it, mm. and they were mostly the masters of evil. Great, good. Uh, something, something. Go on. Something, something. I'm listening. Something, something. Oh, really? This is good. Doesn't say anything about Thunderbolt Ross. You can do a so, search on that, you know. I'm searching for Ross, but it's just coming up with Ross from Friends. <laughs> I don't know who's on the team, but there you go. Does a mission for the team? Does a mission for General Ross? They did a mission. That's about halfway through the Wikipedia page. Do you reckon they're going to put that in the movie? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, great. What are they going to do with William Hurt? Just like because Powers Booth works for Shield, he died, and then they just went, "No, he's, he's gone." Probably that. Yeah. Maybe, I mean. Could they replace it with the guy who played him in um, the Eric Banner Hulk? Would anybody notice? No. <laughs> yeah. No, absolutely not. Because he's not a big enough character, I feel like. Mm. They're both mustachio, gray-haired gentlemen. Yeah. You know what? I'd, look, it wouldn't shock me because, again, the, the the original Thunderbolts in the comics were like, we're here to honor the fallen heroes and they're gone and we're having, you know. It blah, blah, blah. It, it yeah. wouldn't shock me if they're like, we're here to honor Thunderbolt Ross and he was a great American patriot and we're here to blah, oh, blah, okay. blah. And yeah, then yeah. people are like, oh, well, that sounds seems plausible. Yeah, okay. So, Terrific. Great yeah. stuff. Anyways, uh, I'm glad this is also a movie. I'm also wondering if they are going to do because it's a, it's it's kind of trickier, I think, to do. Are they going to give them alternate identities and then mm. reveal? Because we, the audience, would know. Yeah, but uh, oh, maybe maybe they'll hide a few of them, a couple of them. Maybe. Yeah. Who knows? And that's what we love about movie magic. Because who knows? You know, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, something could be good. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. Maybe even something today we we watched. Who knows? Maybe something today we watched could be. Good. I mean, not Jurassic World, but something in oh, with what we're talking sure, about sure, today. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? Anyways, uh, let's move on, Mason. This is via The Hollywood Reporter. Cobra Kai creators Josh Herald, John Hurwitz, and Hayden Schlossberg, uh, they are working on a Duke Nukem movie. A Duke Nukem movie. So Gearbox are currently owned. Bloody, it's a bloody, it's kind of bloody release in the year 2048. Duke uh, <laughs> uh, Nukem forever, they can't. Yeah, yeah, it took forever. Did you see there was a build of that from like the early 2000s that was leaked recently? I did say that, yeah. Like the early whatever. Uh-huh. Are those games good? Mm, I mean, the, they had a jetpack. You had a jetpack. I mean, you know, I, I wouldn't go back and play it now. 
Or maybe I would. To, you have to. All right, let's do it. Not me. Oh, I have to do it. Okay, <laughs> yeah. cool. All right, well, I'll you play. You have to play the Game Boy Advanced version. Was there a... Oh, yeah. My goodness. Well, Duke Nukem 3D at the time was, you know, yeah. a revelation. It had You could jump. You could jump. Can't can't imagine that these days, can you? I think Dark Forces started the jump. Oh, maybe. Yeah. But there was destructible environments. Yep. Duke Nukem was rude. There was there was nude women in that game, That's remember? Right. yeah, yeah. Wow. What a game. Um, uh, Gearbox, though, who are currently working on Borderlands, they own it, I believe, because okay. they bought it in like the late 2010s to okay. release that terrible Duke Nukem Forever game. Mm-hmm. That's, of course, owned by Randy Pitchford, uh, who's awful. I don't know if you know anything about no, that guy. No, I don't guy. know anything about it. I know the name, but I couldn't tell you what, what his deal is. Yeah, they he, did he, he owns Gearbox, is that? Yes. Okay, right. And he did, because uh, Eli Roth is working on the on the Borderlands movie. He's the director. I think Kevin Hart's in it and a bunch of other, fa- Jack Black's in it. Okay. And instead of showing a trailer or some footage at, Gamescon or one of those things. It was just Randy Pitchford walking around, like, just hassling people in the movie. Okay. And they're clearly just like, we hate this guy. Like, the- hey, Jack Black, there's a Borderlands script. It's on the ground. You're going to pick it up. But you've got a gun. <laughs> I, was, I was gearing up. You beat me to it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the, previously a version of this, I think John Cena was attached or in okay. talks, but I don't think he can do it now. Because he's already doing that in Peacemaker. Mm. Peacemaker is he's Duke, Duke Nukem, Nukem, isn't he? basically. Yeah. He's a, he's American. Not entirely, well, but yeah, but he's got he's, he's he's shooting people. He's all American. He's crass. He's crass, exactly. Yeah. Mm. But I mean, well, I mean that's I mean, and we'll we might get to this momentarily. Yeah. But you know, there is a certain tendency in Hollywood for somebody to go, well, they want me. They're going to pay me twenty million dollars to do. Pretty much the same thing again. Yeah, I don't have to get into a different mindset. I'll probably just take just have it. Have to dye my hair, I'll wear a wig, it. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He would be, he would be a perfect Duke Nukem. Yeah, to be go. fair, yeah. but yeah, there you go. Uh, Mason, mm-hmm. trailers ahoy! <laughs> we got three big trailers this week. Three big trailers, and I think the one I'm most excited for is this first one. Uh, should I be? Let's find out. Uh, the movie Prey. Oh yes, which is Predator. Mm-hmm. Uh, but fighting Native Americans mm. in the past. Yes. Dan Trachtenberg, uh, who directed 10 Cloverfield Laid, is directing this. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm always getting excited for a new Predator movie, and 50% of the time I hate it. Sure, yes. Uh, but I like the team. It might even be this. less than that, honestly. Yeah. When you think of it, statistically, Predator 1. Good. Predator 2. Fine. Predator th- th- was Predators. There a- Predators. Good. I, I would even say excellent. Yeah, I yeah, love that movie. Yeah. And then uh, The Predator. The Predator. Which is horrible. Horrible. And then there's Alien v Predator, yeah, yeah, yeah. which are not. I reckon we're about 40%. Movies. Okay. That's, very- that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. For this concept. Yeah. Over this length of time. Mm, yeah. That's pretty good. It is, yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe we'll talk about something later that's never had a good sequel. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. 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 Yeah. Maybe. Uh, but anyway, so apparently also there are uh, – they, they been 30 years. has never been a good one. It's wild. I, I don't know. There's, they, 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 we'll talk about yeah, it. Yeah, all right. But so what was I saying? So they, apparently they they wanted to make it more accessible and sell to to, ev- to markets everywhere. That's why it's in English. But here's the – but I, you might have the you might have this detail mm. here. Because uh, I, I watched the trailer and I'm like, this is really interesting. It looks cool. And I thought, first of all, it's interesting that they haven't had the Native American cast do like that. Native American accent. Oh, the that voice, we, yeah. The, the, everybody yeah. knows the voice that yeah. you, you, you know, when you meet a wise old Native American yeah. man and they all have the same. And it's a, we watch the Twilight movies, they all have, all yeah. the elders have the voice. <laughs> but they've just, they just sort of speak. So, and I mean, it's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit jarring mm. because they're just speaking like regular yeah. Americans. Um, but apparently they're doing you, oh, day one release because it's going to be on Hulu. You yeah. can also watch it in Comanche. I think that's awesome. With with subtitles. Yeah. I'm a, if it's good or not, if it's good, I might just watch it. I'm certainly going to watch it in Comanche with subtitles yeah. and maybe even no subtitles. Just see what's up. Just see what's up, yeah. yeah. And if I get confused, I'll turn the subtitles on. Nobody can stop me. I'm not in a movie theatre, am I? What if it's all product placement and you miss it? It's like, man, I need a crisp can of Coke. <laughs> sure, this Predator's yeah. really got me running about and I need a Coke. And you're like, oh, I love the culture. Yeah. You say to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they've nailed the culture. <laughs> yeah. um, Mentos, fresh and full of life. <laughs> <laughs> Ding. Yeah, I mean, obviously that would be... Like it would be dubbed, so the the mouth wouldn't. Well, I'm not. I don't I'm think not, they filmed it twice because that's. Expensive. I read something. I I read something to the effect that maybe they did film. It oh, twice. that would be incredible. I don't know if that's true. I know I, there's also. I think I saw this on Corridor Crew. There's a technology they can now use where you could actually change a person's mouth, and they did it for a couple of movies where they 
basically just re they just got the person to re-record the dialogue and just like motion captured their mouth and then and it pasted it on. Wow. So yeah, so it can be done. It's expensive though, so I don't know whether or not. Whether okay. they refilmed, whether they filmed it twice. Okay, well, I'm, I'm here on slashfilm.com. Mm-hmm. Okay, the film was shot in English and Comanche. Yeah, but does that mean there's some of that in there? Like it's a mix? Uh, or is it like they filmed both? It says here, this is according to Dan Trachtenberg, there will be a Comanche dub of the movie so you can watch the entire movie in Comanche with the original actors returning to perform their roles. Dub, though. Not see it. Do, it does yeah. seem a bit vague, doesn't it? But, dub, but if they're back to, to me, that it yeah, that yeah. they've redubbed it. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. They've come back in the in the booth. But again, you can change it. It's just that's true. This is going to Hulu. It's not going to that is correct. Yes, cinemas though. If I can see this in cinemas, I will. Because as we mentioned, I love forty percent of the Predator movies. That is very true. Yeah. Anyways, let's talk about the Black Adam trailer. Oh, yeah. Is it true? Now, you've probably heard this, that the hierarchy of the DC universe is about to change. You better believe it is. <laughs> He's the most powerful guy. He looks about as powerful as everybody else we've met. Yeah. Well, it's interesting that, okay, first first of all, I, I saw this trailer as part of, there was a there was a, an online uh, whole situation, it was called, I'll look it up. It's called the Some, internet. It's called Summer Game Fest. Oh, yeah, yeah, you and, did uh, that. And there was, there was a bunch of game reveals for... for Any for, particular ones stand out to you? There was like an Alien Isolation style game. Yeah, that pretty like good. a top-down one, that one? No, there was more, uh, more and there was, there was a bunch of Dead Space looking stuff that yeah, wasn't like Dead Space. Yeah, like three Dead Space games and one, only <laughs> one of them is Dead Space. Yeah. One's the original team oh, doing a new right. version, like yeah. not Dead Space, and one is EA remaking original mm. Dead Space and there's another one that just looks and like. And one of them had a clip where an alien bites a man's head half off, but it's not the half you're thinking of. It's the bottom half? It was like the front Oh, okay. Front half. Okay, it's excellent. Wild. Wow. Anyway, so I saw the Black Adam trailer initially through – I think maybe they bought a cameo from The Rock. <laughs> That's what it felt like because it was just him. Oh, in his gym and he's, he's just, on his yeah, gym and he's on his this. phone and then he and he's like he's just going, isn't he? Yeah, it's so long. He's just going and he's and he's plugging his energy drink. I Zoa think it's energy Zoa drink. Zoa energy drink and then he's and he's telling us. I'm that, in my own paradise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What up, fam? Yeah, that's, and he's that's a pretty good The Rock, right? That I just did then. Um, I'm hey, a, I'm The Rock. If if the rock the actual rock who's in the room now could stop talking for a moment, we'll get James to do his impression of the rock. Ah, candy ass. Ah, ah. Dwayne, please, if you could <laughs> let James speak for a moment. Mason, pick up that money. But the rock, I know. Bang. No. <laughs> so God, he punched me into space, <laughs> and I have to record the rest of this from space. Isn't that just t- typical? <laughs> it is. Anyway, he just he came in and he and he. Did this long speech and he and he plugged his energy drink yep. and and then we saw the trailer uh, and looks uh, all right I guess I don't know I should be excited for I this why I, am I not I think we've reached a point of the rock saturation yeah. where you either go man I love the rock or you're like I'm kind of sick of the rock and I think maybe we're on the side we're on the wrong side of this I think where okay. we're like I'm kind of hasn't this movie been coming out for like forty years yes yeah, it's, it's true yes <laughs> but also like I'm excited for like. The bunch of the characters we get to see, like Doctor Fate, Pierce yep. Brosnan, mm. Hawkman, the big man, the big guy who's running down the street, in Atom the, Smasher, in the Deadpool mask, the That's blue right. Deadpool yeah. mask that he's James, wearing. James, it's Ant Man in the Deadpool mask, and he's <laughs> so, big. Uh, what? What? The, the, I mean, the problem that this movie is facing, I think, is that you know, regardless of whether the DC version. You know how Marvel and DC have so many characters that are basically the same except with different names because yeah. they all – it was just parallel thought. They're like, let's have a big guy, let's or have stealing. a magic guy or st- one of them stole it or whatever. Oh, Dr. Fate's doing a bunch of Dr. Strange. Yeah, this, like it, it? It, regardless of which ones were invented first, this movie really is kind of on the back foot in the sense that there's already a flying guy in the – there's several flying guys in the Marvel Universe and a big guy and a magic yeah. guy. So, yeah. you know. The, the hierarchy is about to change this is because there's a bit where he's hit with a stick. I think we've seen that. Uh-huh. That happened to Superman in the seventies with a crowbar. Sure, yes. That? And there's a line where I think Hawkman says to him, "Heroes don't kill people," and he's like, oh, "I do." A bunch of heroes. Kill Everybody people. does. What yeah, are you talking about? Well, that's what I was going to say. Like, it's fascinating that they've gone with this tack mm. of well, this is actually this is a hero. Zach. He actually kills people. They they all do. They all do. Like both like Marvel and yeah. DC. They've just. It's just it's been relentless for a decade now. <laughs> them just mowing people down. Yeah. Just miscellaneous soldiers and. Big names and whatever it's like, and even from the eighties, they're you know all the heroes inadvertently kill all their big villains. I at need the, end of the last I, act. I, I need to see him being like openly evil. I guess to to like think this is 
anything mm. other than a normal superhero. Yeah. Because mm. a lot of them are like, I don't know if I want to do a good thing. It's like, well, yeah, I have to now. Mm. Okay. Um, yeah, but there's even like the bit where he's flying with the jets and he like bat, bats one out of the air or whatever. Uh-huh. You know, that's very Iron, remember Iron Man, sure. the original, original Iron Man. But that, that's a good sequence. It's feel, some of the tech feels very like Black Panther esque as well, and the jets. It's got that kind yeah, of yeah. Who are they fighting? I can't. I tell. don't know. Yeah. Someone in a grey mask. What is that? The the nation the nation that Black Adam is associated with in the comic books is called Kandak. I think it's called Just, Iron Paradise now. That's sick. Mason, it's called <laughs> Iron Paradise. Thank you, Dwayne. The DC universe is about to. Hang on. I got to read. Yeah, is about to. Ch- the hierarchy is about to change. I had to read that because I couldn't cool. remember what he said. But he keeps that, saying it. He keeps saying it. I feel like that he invented that phrase yeah. or it was pitched to him as like, The Rock, you you should do this because you're the hierarchy of the DC Universe is going to change and you'll be the most powerful character. Maybe it was in like 2008. Then, yeah, maybe yeah. it could have been. But mm-hmm. Wonder Woman kills a bunch of people. So they oh all my do. God, they all do. Yeah. Man, they all do. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I hope it's great. I hope it's really. great too. I mean, again, because I like, I mean, imagine like Dr. Fate. Are you kidding me? Ridiculous. They put Dr. Fate in a movie. I love it. Mm. Yeah, so this is the director of. Oh, oh no. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it's, no, it's not, it's not terrible news. Okay. Uh, Jungle Cruise. Oh, yeah, okay. The Commuter. Mm-hmm. Wasn't that good? Which Liam one Neeson one. I don't know which one it, it is. Come on. <laughs> Uh, he did Unknown and Nonstop. Hey, was this Liam Neeson movie that I don't remember? Was that a good one? I don't know, man. Yeah, okay, sure. I'm just going to quickly show you this. Okay, so this is the Wikipedia. Okay. For the, so there's the Commuter, yeah. Liam Neeson poster. Uh-huh. There's also uh, Unknown, also Liam, Liam Neeson poster, sure, sure, sure. Nonstop. What's the difference between any of those? Po- I mean, they've all got Liam Neeson, but what yeah. do they tell you about the Liam Neeson movies? Nothing. I liked The Shallows. That was the Liam Neeson. Yeah, that was the Blake Lively fights a shark one. Oh. I didn't mind that one. Okay, great. Jungle Cruises. Hmm. It's fine, wasn't it? Maybe it's, it's fine. I mean, it sounds a little bit like you know, in a lot of these instances, it's a it's a big star has found a director they can push around. <laughs> 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 I.e., Tom Cruise and whoever Tom Cruise works with. Yeah, whoever, whoever yeah. that happens to be, mm-hmm. whether that be uh, a director or whoever his current wife is. Mason, it's mm. time to move on. Okay, I can't terrific. believe you said that. You shouldn't, you shouldn't speak ill of our Lord and Saviour, Thomas Cruise, <laughs> um, because we're going to talk about the Sandman trailer coming oh, yeah. to Netflix. Mm-hmm. Having read some of the Sandman, but not all of it, so I, now I need to go back to the start and reread it all because I'll definitely just be lost if I jump back into where I was at. Yeah, uh-huh. There's a lot of stuff here that I recognise, including the trapping of a Sandman, mm-hmm. various Characters, Mason. Various. Uh, characters. They've gender switched John Constantine as well. They have, but also just... there is a female John Constantine, isn't there, in the comics? Joanna Constantine. Yes, but I, but I don't know if, she, if this is that version or the version of John Constantine which is in the comics. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think it's the comic book version, and they've just gone with the lady yeah. from Doctor Who, whose name is Jenna Coleman. Jenna Coleman. There we go. That's yes. okay. Love it. Uh, this looks very interesting, doesn't it? Though, yeah. yeah. Are, have you read all of this, The Sandman Man? I think so. He thinks yes. so, everybody. I think so, but there is a lot of it. Yeah. I, I certainly haven't gotten to all the spin-off media. I never finished Lucifer, which is the spin-off. Did you watch the show? Some of it. Did you see the thumbnail where he's looking through a wine glass and he's, he looks like the devil <laughs> through the wine glass? Yeah. Yeah. And there's one, there's, I don't know, because it's on Netflix in Australia, but there's one, there's like a little thumbnail and he's holding up like an auction like an auction, oh, like an auction paddle, like an auction paddle, and it's got sixty nine on it. He's like, Ooh, "That's fine. what do you think about this? Only the devil would have this root of an auction paddle." <laughs> yeah, they do don't normally give those out. They do don't. They? They don't. It's like it's like you, the thirteenth floor. It's like there's no thirteenth floor hotel. They don't give out. It goes sixty eight seventy. Yeah, if you that, want a sixty nine when you're out of life. That's also a myth. The hotel thing, isn't it? It's a myth. Not right? always. It really? Yeah. Sometimes it's real. People are so stupid, <laughs> but I just, including us. Yeah. 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 Because there will be no, there will be no rudeness at an auction. Absolutely not. All. Yeah, uh, but what what else are we seeing in there? Uh, you would recognise more of this. A beautiful bag imagine. of sand. Uh, death is there. Who's who's death again? Is it um, Game of Thrones? What's her name? I think it's Game of Thrones. What's her name? Yeah, and he's got his little helmet on, his little Sandman helmet. I wonder if we're going to see the 1930s Sandman, who's just a guy. With a pan full of sand, yeah, go and with a pocket handful full of, of dreams, <laughs> full of sand, and a pocket full of dreams, and a hoop and a stick. <laughs> <laughs> Fights crime with a hoop and a stick. Absolutely, probably not because I don't think uh, I don't think this production company owns the rights to him. But you never know. No. And isn't it also that 
often uh, the Sandman will like it's in the DC universe, but this yes. obviously isn't. Yeah, the, I don't know who owns this at the yeah, moment. Yeah, so when when the Sandman was created, when Neil Gaiman created the Sandman for Vertigo, yep. Vertigo was sort of in the DC universe, mm-hmm. and then they sort of made an editorial choice to to say because they like if you read some of the early on Sandman stuff, he he. He interacts with, like, like you said, Constantine. He interacts with the Justice Society, yeah, and some other stuff. And but, but after a couple of years, they're like, no, actually, Vertigo's its own thing, and they sort of severed all ties with Stop it. Stop it. Yeah. So I think that with this, they'll they'll have to make some mm. you know, some uh, little little tweaks here and there. But I'm, you know, nothing they can't get around. I yeah. imagine. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, this comes out August fifth of this year, or at least the first part. I don't know. I think there's the first ten episodes. So presumably. Nice. With its first 10-episode season. Yeah, so, yes, the whole thing, as I uh, Terrific. said. So I'm looking forward to this coming out. Yeah. Are people maybe liking it initially and then it disappearing immediately and then they cancel it. Absolutely. You better believe it, yeah. 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 Damn. Great right. strategy, Netflix. You're, really, they, you're winning over hearts I think and they minds. should do the Prime thing, release two or three and then do them weekly, what yeah. they'd like they do with the boys. Well, and you, ha- you do have some The Boys news Funny there. Funny you should mention that, Mason. Uh, it's not up next, though. Oh, okay, right. Would you like to do it now? Yeah, let's do it next. Oh, I th- hang on. No, this is James. This is a smooth segue because uh, you don't need. You don't even need the, the data there, James. You don't need oh, it. Oh, God. Just do it from your heart. Okay. Pick up the news, James. Pick oh, up, no. Pick up the news. <laughs> You're going to shoot me? Yeah. <laughs> Nick Mason. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll pick you up the news. Bang, bang, bang. Oh. Bang, bang, bang. He punched bang. me in. You punch me into space. Yeah. At least we can both record in space yeah, now. That's, yes. <laughs> I shot you with the big laser, <laughs> the big space laser from Akira. That's, that's, how, that, right. that's how that worked. I shot you into space. So what, this piece of news is mm. that, and I think this is very wise. Yeah. I don't know if they've done it in all previous seasons, but probably. They've, they've, uh, Amazon have announced that The Boys is being renewed for season four. Yep. A, a few episodes into season three, mm. which is very – because and they, I, I'm sure this is strategic. They They want us to know – you can invest in this season of The Boys knowing yes. that if the story isn't finished, maybe it'll be finished in the next season. Yeah. As opposed to everything Netflix where you go, you, know, you want to watch this new thing? Yeah. Who knows if it's going to keep going? HBO Who knows? Max just, co- just cancelled Made for Love. Did you watch that? Was, was that Billy Magnuson and uh, Kristen Malotti. Oh, I saw that. He's like yeah. a weird Elon Musk type guy. And what's the deal with that? Is, is she a robot? Is no, somebody she's not a, a robot? robot. It's like about mind technology. It's good. It's really good and funny. And now it's and, it, and it's got Ray Romano and they just cancelled it. it was, oh. Yeah, anyway, it's, it was really good. Debois. 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 I hate I my parents, Debois. Uh, What's that? What streaming service is that? Uh, it's straight it's on Stan, I Stan. think. Stan. <laughs> Doesn't work. You, you can only say Debois. It's true. It's the only word you can say. So, yeah, The Boys Season 4. Uh, mm-hmm. You're still enjoying Season 3 yes, I as am, of so yeah. far? Yeah. yeah. So, it, uh, we won't spoil it here, but it's, it's still good. It's still good, nice yeah. And, um, should Still we move good it along? And rude, yes. Wow, can you believe that the Joker is Joker Two is moving forward? Not only does it, I, does of it course move. I can. It made a billion dollars. It made more than a billion. dollars. You can't believe it, one. and not only can you not, I believe can it, believe it. You cannot believe this new title. God damn it! This new title that he has to uh, attempt to pronounce. Folly adieu. That's correct, Mason. Which is a shared madness. That's right. Defined yeah. as an identical or similar mental disorder affecting two or more individuals, usually members of a close. Family. What does this mean? Could it be a Bruce Wayne situation? Could it be a Bruce Wayne situation. Could it be double jokers? Could be double, double jokers. Yeah. It could be a Harley Quinn. Could be, yeah. We, maybe we'll get could a. Could be a mirror. He's could looking, looking at, a at a mirror. mirror. Yeah. He goes, me and you are having a shared madness. <laughs> but it's him because he's yeah, yeah, mad. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice. mirror. Nice, yeah. Yeah. Uh, did you see the photo of Joaquin Phoenix just punching a dart? Yeah, just hell yeah. a real black and white mm-hmm. on a windowsill. God, so arty. Yeah, that I know. That so arty. This is going to be a very arty film. This mm. is – a lot of people um, appreciate this movie because it brings something to the genre – which you didn't expect, did you, Mason? I did expect it. Took it. A character. I expected a sequel, and I expected the thing you're gonna, whatever it is, and I expected whatever's gonna be in this. It's gonna be about the same. <laughs> a movie you didn't, you don't like. Is yeah. that right? I wonder what the hype is gonna be like in this, because I feel like yeah. you know we we talked about this you know relentlessly on the lead up to the first one. You know, I like to think so. And people, you know, they, they were like, we're gonna post security guards because we don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe some insane stuff will happen. In I mean, some insane screeners. stuff just will happen regardless. Mm. You know? Yeah, that's true. So, and and in in retrospect, I look, I had my opinion at the time, and I don't think it's really changed. But I, I. That it blew your mind. You no, didn't, didn't think they no, could take mind. a character so twisted and twist him in such a way no. that you couldn't even go. No, there. James. You, I don't think you understood it. That's what I think your problem is. No, that's is. actually probably true. <laughs> yeah, anyway, but, go on. Uh, I, want, I, I feel like perhaps the, the sentiment of now that, the, when, you know, 
the hype died down and I feel like maybe the sentiment has kind of shifted to like, oh, yeah, it was kind of a Scorsese homage and there's nothing wrong with that, but it didn't. Yeah. It didn't remake superhero cinema no. forever. Like we didn't – the Marvel didn't throw out their entire slate and go, let's do unconnected arty versions of all our heroes now. They're mm. like, no, let's keep doing what we're doing, I yeah. reckon. Yeah, this is fine. Mm. But yeah, look, aside from you not appreciating or understanding it, I, I Joaquin know. Phoenix put it in a terrific performance. Nobody can doubt that. And aside from that, uh, I was going to say a different thing and now I can't remember. I said aside from that because I'm like, I'll think of it. Mm. I'll think of the thing I was going to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like haven't. you didn't understand your own notes there. <laughs> well, that is true. Yeah. What the fuck was I going to say? I don't know. Hype? Hype? No, that wasn't that. We maybe art. we'll come back to it. Art, well, certainly art. Mm. <laughs> Polly and you. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because we did a movie commentary on this, bigsandwich.co, if people do want to check did it we? out. Yeah, we did. Nice. And as we discovered uh, during that, uh, where Martin Scorsese has literally – Nothing to do with this movie. Yeah. I think he was initially maybe consulting or maybe was going to be involved yeah. on some level. But <laughs> the whole thing was marketed around this is Scorsese's Joker. And yeah. imagine if Scorsese made the Joker. He's executive producer. He hasn't seen it. Which and is he a has ma- <laughs> it's a masterclass of marketing because I'm sure, like if we were to go back and look at every interview with Todd Phillips and the studio yeah. and all that stuff, I bet they never said that Scorsese had anything to do with it. Yeah. I bet they never did, but they were so good at inferring it that at least you and I were like, Scorsese, what's, what's he consulting yeah. on this? And he hasn't seen it. And he hasn't seen it also. I think he was just like, I don't know, I've kind of seen something like this because I make these, mm. so I haven't seen this, no. Yeah. Anyway, I can't wait. <laughs> can't wait either. Okay, but okay, if you if you had to put money on it, what does the title mean? Oh, like in reference to, uh, I like which one is it? Do you it? think it could be like a collective, like societal madness? I think it is that. I think yeah. it. I think it is. I and look, I'm. I'm not saying that the producers of this are so bereft of ideas that they'll just do what the internet says. <laughs> but it wouldn't shock me if they are going to do the thing where they segue from Joaquin Phoenix Joker to a different Joker, and that's the Joker that we the know Batman from Joker. The, the classic Batman Joker. It's a younger guy, and he. He also goes mad and they meet and et cetera and they have interactions and this guy's like, I'm going to be the real Joker. That's pretty brave. Very brave, right? Yeah, okay. Um, anyway, we'll obviously see this yeah. and we'll be making fun of it. Terrific. But also. Or we'll be swept up in the magic of cinema. Yeah, maybe it's great. Yeah. Wouldn't it be incredible if it was great? I would love it to be great. People some t- from time to time will review a movie, perhaps negatively, perhaps the movie we're going to talk about in a minute. Oh, come on, mate. And... Uh, people will say, you went into this looking to hate it. And I'm like, I, I don't want to go. I want to go into every movie. I hope it's good. I want to yeah. like it. I don't have that many movies left in me, honestly. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Well, it's either that or you you like this too much because <laughs> mm. you're, you're a shell. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Mm. But, yeah, God, there's a lot, a lot of people certainly have opinions about Obi-Wan, I'll tell you that much. Or Top Gun. I get, I've got a lot of comments, and I'm just muting people at this point because I'm like, this is a lunatic. Uh, where it's like, it was good because it was woke, because it wasn't woke. There's no politics in it. Yeah, there's no politics in Top Gun. They didn't have <laughs> Navy recruiters outside some of the screenings of Top Gun Maverick. But, like, also, if anything, Top Gun did the most cowardly thing a movie could do, as in not name who the aggressor is. It's true. To avoid, you know, so it could release in all territories. Very true. You know? Is that woke? I can't, I don't know. Mason? Go on. BuzzFeed News, is this good? Yeah, I love BuzzFeed. Okay, news. great. Yeah. You're right. We're we doing a BuzzFeed quiz after this. Yes, we are. Okay. How many apples are there? Which apples are this? Oh my God, <laughs> what is that? We would love that if it's not like not what Pokemon are you or whatever. It's just like how many apples are there? And you can't. There is. It is. You don't pick from four. You have to enter a number. <laughs> Seth Green. Do you remember? <laughs> Probably. We've almost certainly talked about this. Do you remember there was a there's a there's a game designer called Peter Molyneux? Yeah, I and know. he's made various games and like they're very very well regarded. Generally, no, they're not. Well, I mean, not right, not he lately. Lies. Not he li- just, no, he is. He's all hyperbole. But he created like Populous and like some like he and sort of Milo, the, that interactive boy that they never. Oh, released. I thought you meant the the malted milk tree. No, no, no. It was like an interactive boy that you could like talk to oh, through Xbox Connect. That. Okay, but like anyway. back. So back in what I'm saying is back in the day, he created like some you know real time yeah. strategy games that people really enjoyed, and then he went. 
he created a he got woke. He got woke, <laughs> but he did that. He created this thing that was like what's in the what's in the cube, and everybody ra- it was like a oh, giant. Yeah. It was a giant cube, and it had like a it was composed of like a billion other cubes. And oh, you, Mr. Beast, I made a real billion cube. <laughs> oh, Mr. Beast, no. <laughs> You've gone too far. It's too light. It's too dense. It's like a black hole. It's sucking the earth into it. <laughs> Mr. Beast. Sorry, um, no. But but the idea was you would go to this website that had this billion cube cube on it yeah. and you would just click the cube and the cubes would disappear and it would break down into layers. Yes. And then and at the end at the end there was like a it was a prize and whoever got to yeah. the last layer got a prize and it was a life-changing prize. What was it? Nothing. No, the the prize was wasn't it? You had to keep it a secret or something. No, the prize was that that was a different that a was different a, cube. That was a different cube, probably. I've created two cubes. I'm Mr. Beast. <laughs> Mr. Beast, no, <laughs> they're thrown off the orbit of the Earth, Mr. Beast. What have you done? It's going to get a lot of views, though. We should have <laughs> built the cube. Um, but the 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 prize was that you would be – whoever whoever got to the centre would become the god in this upcoming game that he created called okay. Goddess and and you would make decisions about the game but also you would get a share of the profits from the game. So okay. that was the life-changing element but I don't think they ever made the game. I'm shocked. I, think they've, I don't think they finished the game. I'm so, really surprised. So some guy who spent like – Months of his life clicking this. Maybe he was the last guy who just came in. Yeah, and went, maybe he was. Yeah, that's true. Blink. That's yeah. mine. Yeah. Nice. I'll just give this a go. Click. Oh, yeah. I won. I won. Terrific. I'm the god of goddess. Why was I talking about that? I can't Buzzfeed remember. news, but apples. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Many so, apples. Just, you got to. You just got to input a number. So uh, Seth Green's kidnapped bored ape has been returned to its original owner, ending weeks of frantic speculation as to I'm, the whereabouts. I'm already, already applauding that. And the intentions stuff. of its alleged abductor a pseudonym NFT collector known as Mr. Cheese. Uh, Green nice. confirmed- <laughs> Mr. Cheese, no! <laughs> Green confirmed to BuzzFeed... My apes, Mr. Cheese! <laughs> Green confirmed to BuzzFeed News that the ape is home. Uh, so that's great. He got his ape back that he created for a show that he is also creating. Mm. Uh, but also it's seen if you look through all the, you know, because every transaction can be tracked if you know the yeah, right, right, wallet right, right. identities or whatever the fuck. Don't at me. I don't give a fuck how that works. Uh, Green transferred 100, 165 Ether or approximately $297,000 to the address operated by the NFT trader in exchange for his ape. So there you go. I'm actually. He paid $300,000 for a thing that he is his. Terrific. That I love was it. was his already. That's great. I love it. That's terrific. I am now excited to see the show. You saw the trailer. I, I mean, that's remember. kind of the whole show, yeah. Yeah. But I, 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 I want to see it now. Do you? Yeah. You're not going to watch it. I'll watch one episode. I have to get it through a weird blockchain something or whatever. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. It won't just be on a streaming service, will it? Yeah, it'll be weird. Okay. It'll go through a weird website. Or I could watch it on YouTube. Yeah. It'll immediately just be on YouTube. You're probably right. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Get ready, everybody, to hold your hand dominantly in front of uh, yourself to hold back an aggressive dinosaur mm. multiple times because uh, we're going to talk about right now Jurassic World Dominion, which you might be like, was this an expensive movie? That's maybe what I was think. wondering about that, yeah. It has, yeah, $165 to $185 million budget. And That's not it, crazy. And it, well, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And mm. in its opening weekend, it's made in the US alone $132 million and $95 million internationally. Now, that's a good number. But the thing is, Jurassic World in 2015 made $208 million in okay. its first weekend, so it's significantly less than that. And it's even less than Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom in the year whenever that came out, which oh. made $148 million in the US opening weekend. So it is... There is diminishing returns for mm. these movies, but still, it seems like there's still a passion sure. for people going to cinemas mm-hmm. to watch these movies where there's like one and a half good movies uh, that have ever existed <laughs> in this franchise. Mason, what yes. do you think the story was? Oh, no. Okay, so mm-hmm. when we last left our heroes, yep, those which the- ones? Because there's like 16 heroes in this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when we last left Chris Pratt and, yep. and Running in Heels Lady, yep. uh, and who else was in the last one? Uh, the, the, Goldblum was in it for Goldblum five. Goldblum was in it for a bit for of a second. Yeah. Some people went to the island there in this briefly, you remember? Yeah, yeah. So okay, so when we last left him, there was a big dinosaur auction. Yeah. And and there was a cloned girl, and the cloned girl was like, We've got all these dinosaurs, what should we do with them? Let's let them out. Yep. And now they're out. Yeah, they got out, didn't they? Yeah, they sure did. Yeah. And now they're out. Now they're out. But and uh, that's not the premise of this movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, is it? <laughs> so what what is the premise? Uh there's locusts. Yeah. So the world's going to be uh, the world's going to be um, eaten by big locusts. The world's, world's going to be uh, uh, 
destroyed by Cretaceous era locusts. Yes. And the heroes have to band together and stop it. And there's some dinosaurs. And also there's there's another Jurassic Park that somebody has made. Sure is, isn't there? Yeah. But this one's not open to the public, really. No, but you could get there. You just need a plane. <laughs> it's and true, And be yeah. willing to crash yeah, yeah, said yeah. plane. Mm, yeah, and yeah. And you get right in that Jurassic Park. Yeah. Yeah. So I just, I, I don't understand. Okay. I will watch these forever. Is the locust thing a spoiler? I don't know. <laughs> well, see, the thing about it <laughs> is, is it, I think people should maybe uh, it's, know it's going pretty, in. It's pretty, it's, it's up front. Like, it's near the start. That's true, but yeah. Yeah, maybe. Mm. As we've said it. It's true, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're right. Will you say like people should know that going in? If you're like, man, I hope this is just absolutely chock a block with dinosaurs. It is kind of, yeah. Does it does it break any new ground in terms of dinosaurs? More feathers. There are more feathers. There's a bigger dinosaur. Yeah. There's a couple of moments where they're like, this one's bigger. This is even a bigger. Bigger one. Do you reckon it's going to fight the T Rex at the end? No spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers there, obviously, for the uh-huh. thing that always happens. Mm. But. Uh, yeah, it's it's wild that again. Oh, sorry. I should, again, I would watch these forever. Yeah. I don't care how bad they get. Well, here's the thing. So <laughs> we we're talking about Scorsese earlier, yeah, because we can't stop. I brought up the quote again. Yep. So uh, this is uh, because you know Scorsese lit the internet on fire. Boy, did he! Uh, you, you know, some some time ago. When people asked him about the Marvel Cinematic Universe and he said, I don't see them, I tried, you know, but that's not cinema. Honestly, the closest I can think of them, as well made as they are, with actors doing the best they can under the circumstances, is theme parks. It isn't the cinema of human beings trying to convey emotional, psychological experiences to another human being. And he was talking about, when he said Marvel movies, I think he was talking about comic book movies in general. I think he was talking about Venom. He was probably talking about the movie Venom. Mm. And I completely understand what he's saying. Yeah. But at the same time, my brain's like, you know, no, but there's actually some very complicated lore in the Marvel Universe. And actually, I watched that. And actually, I'm very engaged with the. Uh, with all the various characters. What if Captain America picked up the hammer? That what if Captain America picked up that hammer? And, of course, they are, you know, uh, uh, in terms of just, a, a, a you know, a, an interconnected cinematic achievement, that's actually very incredible, like, just as, in terms of producing that amazing interconnected web. Well, I was like this, hey, shut up. I don't <laughs> even like Goodfellas. Did you even make The Godfather, bro? Yeah. That's what exactly, I said that's to that's right. Him. And so, so on, on the level of the Marvel movies, I'm like, I get what you're saying, but I, I think there's maybe more depth than... You know, obviously, you you Martin Scorsese you don't have to sit down and watch twenty Marvel movies, but yeah. I think were you to stump, were you to be stuck in a log cabin for a weekend and you somehow watched all the Marvel movies, I think you might you might be like, oh, I see, you get there's a certain depth to that. But I think the Jurassic movies are my theme park in the okay, sense yeah. that I I'll watch them and I don't care. Yeah, well, like, it's funny. Like, is, is there a character in this? There's a character in this movie. Is there a character in this? Is there a sure. Char- maybe, I don't know. There's a character in this movie who I think maybe has a completely different characterization to his previous appearance in this series. Maybe one? I don't care. Yeah. I don't care if it's different. It doesn't matter to me. Some stuff happens. Yep. Then there's some fetch quests. Yep. And then the movie ends. And I'm like, oh, so I was m- m- mostly entertained by this. I didn't think it was good. Yeah, but no, was- I, I completely agree. I, I was entertained. Was this good? No. It's not. It's not good. But yeah. you know, for all the things that I go to for the, for, uh, for these movies at this point, yes, it it mostly delivered on mm. all of that stuff. Yeah, Chris Pratt even was quoted recently as saying, "Is like this is the end game of Jurassic Park because yeah, it of right. course brings back the original cast." Mm-hmm. There's too many fucking people in this movie. Though. There's a so? moment at the end, you know, where they all pile onto the helicopter to to, to escape a Jurassic Park. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a lot of people in that there helicopter. Sure is, yeah. There's so, and there's a moment where they all go around a car away from a big dinosaur, and there's it's just a row of them lined yeah. up in the car. It was like a Monty Python sketch <laughs> yeah. or something. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> but you know, it was it was good to see the old cast. To be honest, yeah. stuff. I so that's, this is their first proper reteaming since. Yeah, the original, like they've yeah. they've been in these sequels, but never really all together. Mm. They, they haven't been all together since. Laura Dern was obviously briefly in three with Sam Neill, which is coming up this week for mm. um, uh, uh, Caravan of Garbage. Do? Thank you. Yes. That show that we do. So, but I, I, so I enjoyed those aspects of it, and the fact that Biosyn, which is like the new InGen, which is also the company that tries to get the shaving cream thing from, which comes back but, uh, in the first movie, mm-hmm. is now like the new InGen, and it's run yeah, by right. like run, it's run by like a Tim Apple style dude who's also the same guy from the first movie, but they recast him because he was a sex criminal. These are all things that you don't now, need to know. Well, that's the, so so. In the original movie, yeah. so so Dodgson is yeah. the guy that gives the shaving cream can to Newman late yes. night. Uh, Nedry, yeah, to smuggle out the embryos. 
is this meant to be exactly the same guy or is it meant yes, to be – okay, it's not his and brother or something. No, and he's clearly like reinvented himself as – as a, as a Tim Apple, as he is known, mm. the head, you know, he's got that kind of look in the hair and the, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the vibe. Whereas the previous one, he was just some kind of corporate espionage fellow. So it's been like 30 years and he's moved up yeah. the ranks and he's like, I'm Steve Jobs or whatever now. I'm Steve because, Jobs. Uh, and I think you've mentioned, I haven't seen this, but I think you've mentioned that there is, there is some sort of short film or some, some. It's really good. Yeah. That, one that's that, set in like a caravan park. Yeah. Oh, no. I meant that isn't there, a, isn't there a short film that explains that. A team was sent to retrieve that shaving cream. Oh, there can. is. Yeah, it's in it's in Camp Cretaceous, and apparently there's a the Telltale game. Okay, right. Uh, it deals exclusively with that. Right. Okay. And that's from like 13 years ago or something. Apparently, it's not very good either. But, okay, great. Uh, but Terrific. It, yeah, but so that's and that can, of course, makes a reappearance because why wouldn't it? Mm. And Bison have given Ian Malcolm the job of coming in and just rinsing all the employees, just <laughs> being right. like, "You guys a are real away. carnival you guys show. doing shit." He's like yeah. a court jester. It's he is like that, and it's funny because when he's giving his like speech, and like it, I'm like, this is pretty standard. The erratical stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's not groundbreaking. He's just like, be careful with technology. You guys, you guys come in here and you're like, oh, but we hope we hope nothing bad happens, but then bad things happen. <laughs> what do you guys think of that? And they're like, wow, wonderful. Well, he's wonderful done it again. Man. Yeah. How does he keep so trim? Mm. I reckon he smokes. That's what I reckon's going on. He, he looks like a smoker, Mason. Mm, okay. I'm not saying that he is. I'm yeah, not yeah, definitively yeah. calling it, uh-huh, but yeah. yeah. Mm. It's interesting because they've gone, they've just gone, these characters like look and dress. Exactly the same way they did. Ali Sattler is literally wearing the same clothes. Mm. She changes, but she's wearing like the the blue singlet or whatever and the pink shirt. Yeah, and there's a wild. Look, I, my my uh, my evaluation of this movie sort of went up and down. I'm like, this is entertaining, but oh, this is a bit cringy. Oh, this is so entertaining. This is a bit yeah. cringy. There's a moment where she does. You know, there's the famous moment in. Uh, in Jurassic Park, in the first one, where Alan Grant, he sees the dinosaurs for the first time. You see from his perspective, he sort of roughly pulls his sunglasses yeah. off and he's like, I can't believe this. There's a moment in it with Laura Dern, but she's just looking at an empty field. Yes. She stands up in a... And she's yeah, like, it's the what same thing. And, she, and it's just like, oh, it's a cornfield that's yeah. been stripped by some locusts. She's like, I can't believe this. <laughs> You've seen dinosaurs. You could probably believe yeah, this. Probably, yeah. <laughs> you could probably wrap your head around I, this. And I even wonder if uh, Laura Dern knew what she was looking at in it. No. Well, like in the original one, they didn't know what they were looking at either. Mm. But, yeah, it's but just to cut to an empty field. It's like, that. that's not interesting, is it? No. What you've done. But there. I love that, yeah, they've, they've just like, they're like, um, oh, yeah, Ian Malcolm's just, he's still wearing his leather blazer. Yeah. It's a better looking leather blazer, though. Yeah, look, I think, you know, that's a look you can carry on through, mm. you know. And Alan Grant's changed up his flannel and fedora. Uh-huh. But he's he's essentially he's mostly dressing the yeah. same, but at least his clothes are different. Mm. He's wearing different clothes. Also, what's interesting, I think, about this uh, is they 100% they went, in, in the production of this movie, they went, Okay, let's put up all – look at – can you believe this? Look, let's put all the characters from the original movies. Let's put up new characters. Can you believe – oh, they're all together. Oh, it's a very pale cast, isn't it? <laughs> this cast is so pale. We really got to – we've got to – What do we do? We've got to fix this, I think, yeah. a little bit. So. Let's introduce some more main – we need more people to cram on that helicopter at the end yep. of that movie. Yeah, so we get uh, we get a new – we get a, we get a, a, a pilot. Yes. And she's uh, – she's... Look, she doesn't really have a point to initially being there. Uh, mm. But then – I think she's actually pretty good. I think she was great, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they have to – well, we actually love to get that into spoilers. But that's that's one – so we've talked about one aspect of the story, which is the Sam Neill, Laura Dern, Jeff Goldblum locust hunt. Yes. And then on the other side, we've got a kidnapped dinosaur clone situation. Oh, yeah. Which is the, uh, the, the Jurassic World cast. And I think that part of it is somehow less interesting than the, the cloned – Locust plot. Yeah, it is. It's, it kind of is, which is a, sh- a shame. Yeah. And I look, I, I, I understand the evolution because maybe look, that's just nostalgia. The thing me, about but... Jurassic Park is mm. it's not called Dinosaur Park. No, I guess it, like if you know, and I they, I guess they could go. Hey, what about those weird mollusk creatures? You want to see some of those? Yeah, there's some you plants don't. there they brought back. They and brought stuff, some yeah. plants and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I, so in the in a sense, you know, bringing back ancient prehistoric locusts. Mm. Makes sense. Yeah, you know, it's not as thrilling as, but all, and also I think they went. I, I also have a feeling that because in the last one they're like, the, the, we've released the dinosaurs into the wild and they're going to breed and what's going to happen to the entire world? Is the world doomed? I think somebody crunched the numbers and went, probably not. 
Yeah, but you can just say it was. Maybe there's a maybe they're upsetting <laughs> the balance of the uh, the natural ecosystem yeah, and yeah. animals. But I think they crunched the numbers and they went. It probably wouldn't be as bad as we think. But, uh, we have to add something. Let's make let's make it locust. We need something that's a plague. You could say that like they're, they're wiping out vegetation, or yeah, and we have yeah, to yeah. herd them into a certain spot. I, or, guess I so. don't. I like don't a know. Jurassic Park. Like a Jurassic. Yeah. And what happens in this? Yeah. I, I, it's because, and, and you know, there's a, like a black market dinosaur trade, which I think is kind of an interesting idea. But mm. again, it's like, oh, Blue's got a kid. Blue's kid's been kidnapped. Mm. Again, like, I don't give a fuck about this <laughs> fucking horrible thing that you made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, hor- it's a horrible well, again, monster. And it's interesting because Blue, again, is is a is a somewhat trained velociraptor. Somewhat. And and we've also reached the the point that Biosyn, the new company, have have built. They've be, they've implanted all the dinosaurs with a little chip, yeah. So they can make the vast majority of them just do whatever. Mm. So blue is obsolete now, yes. Which is which is I mean that makes you think, doesn't it? Oh, man, yeah, a lot of this made me think actually. Yeah, yeah. But it's a again, it's a barely controlled monster. It's like if you could train an alligator. <laughs> if you let your guard down for a second, it's still like you could raise an alligator from, from to like grab a piece of chicken out of your hair. Yeah, yeah. You could <laughs> you could raise it from infancy and like you know see it every day and give it little pats or whatever. But if you turn your back for a second, it's going to eat you because yeah. that's what it does. And that's the same with this. To be fair, there are. Have you seen stories about the guy who saved the alligator and then he swam with the alligator every day? Did it eat him? Not yet. It's going to eat him. <laughs> if you're listening, guy who swims with the alligators, if, you, if you're putting on the Weekly Planet podcast while you swim with the alligators, first of all, get those out of your ears. Yeah, they're not waterproof. Yeah, and secondly, it's going to look out. Yeah. You know? So I- put the chicken in front of me. I'm going <laughs> to eat the chicken. I'm either, I'm not gonna eat you. I'm gonna eat the chicken. You just put it down and you turn around. I'm eating the chicken. You, you see me eat the chicken so many times. You don't need to look at me eating the chicken. You can just you just turn around, mate. I'll eat the chicken. Bang! <laughs> I shot you. Who was that? I don't know. They shot each other. <laughs> oh no. Uh, so there's also uh, so uh, so they go to Malta and dinosaurs yes. get Wait, who's they? Um, the team the, who the Jurassic to World the, cast. Yes, they want to rescue. They got to, they got to rescue the daughter. They got to rescue Blue. Yeah, they think initially they're on this. They're on the same flight. And some dinosaurs get loose. Some velocity. they're on Jet Blue. They are. They've got some. So they go to an auction. They meet the pilot. Mm-hmm. The, di- the some 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 new Velociraptors uh, get loose and. They're not velociraptors. They're yeah, they else. even mean a velociraptor. Not only that, they have been uh, uh, a wonderful, uh, wonderful <laughs> something from the previous movie has been brought back, the laser-guided dinosaurs. <laughs> That's right. They're back. Uh, the most inefficient use of resources. You want to you build a missile? I mean, sure, that would be easy and, and, and stress-free, but why not, why not spend a couple of years breeding a horrible monster that is barely controlled? <laughs> and not only that, apparently they'll chase you until they get you. So I like to think like six movies from now, like Chris Pratt is just eating his breakfast <laughs> and one just busts in through the window. It's, yeah. been, it's like the monster from It Follows. It's been yeah. following him around the world looking for him. But it's funny because in that, so they, they get chased through the town and there's allosauruses or something running mm. loose and whatever. And there's a lot of like, you know, two come out of the cage and he just puts his hands up. He does a lot of putting yeah, his yeah, like, yeah, does, yeah. That, does that work? I mean, I don't know. Dinosaurs aren't real anymore. That's so true. I don't know, but... There's a there's a moment where one of them does that Jason Bourne Bond style yes. jump from a balcony into a window into a palazzo yeah. of some sort. Yes. One does like a here's Johnny moment through a yeah. door. Uh-huh. All of all of I these enjoyed things. The, yeah, there, that one hundred percent. It was that it was that exact Bourne identity camera angle leap through a mm. leap across a a, a narrow uh, laneway into a into a second story window yeah. and crash through. And I was crash. I was just through. expecting some Moby to light up in there. Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, and and then you know they, they they all end up in New Jurassic Park mm. uh, because the pilot has taken the plane from Tailspin and is doing all sorts of <laughs> yes. dinosaur deeds mm-hmm. with it. Now they brought back old dinosaurs and new. Bison's oh. idea is now that we we do pure dinosaur breeding, so we see a lot more feathered creatures. Mm. One's got big nails. I like the big the nail. Salon. I like the salad fingers dinosaur <laughs> with his big. He's, he's got. I like. I like. It was. I think that in terms of like a terrifying new dinosaur, I thought that was quite good. It's yeah. kind of like it's got these. It's got these kind of like very long, sharp nails, and it just sort of like they sort of Skulks hang about. by its side, and it's sort of like it's ready to strike at any moment. I thought that was pretty good. That bloody, yeah. bloody lop your bloody head off. Mate. And there's the new. I can't. It's called a Gigantosaurus or something. It's, it's a bigger T Rex. It's a bigger T Rex. Yeah. And did you see? Uh, it was compared to the Joker. That dinosaur. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> that was the. Did you get any vibes from that? No. Oh. Ooh, 
No, I got the most Joker vibes. There was a when when uh, Chris Pratt and the new pilot lady. Yeah. When they when they are running in fear from a from a a big feathered bird dinosaur on the ice. Oh, that, was, that had that, a Joker vibe. That, that had a Joker vibe to it. I think. Yeah. Let me find this Joker quote. In the future, um, paleontologists will separate dinosaurs from into two groups, having a Joker vibe and not having a Joker vibe. That's true. I think that's where the culture's going to go. After the release of Joker 2, <laughs> society will be changed. That's true. Uh, Trevor said, I wanted something that felt like the Joker. Nice. So, yeah. I didn't, like, there's, like, a feathered raptor that you mentioned that showed up, which I, mm-hmm. which I didn't mind. And we see, like, compies. We see that one that was the, the spitting one or whatever. Mm. We see a couple of those. And as I mentioned, I, though, I feel like there's a moment where the, the big dinosaur there, the Joker, is there uh-huh. and they're they're all lined up against a car. Yes. And it's just it's just a slow like it's not eating anybody. It's just like slowly mm. kind of and he's got his hand up or whatever the thing yeah, that yeah, he yeah, does. Yeah. But I, I didn't feel very menacing. Yeah. I didn't feel like, oh, this is a new big threat. If I was gonna be critical of this movie that I think is ultimately critic proof, because it's just it's you you either go with it or you don't, mm. I guess. It just sort of devolves into fetch quests by the end. It's like we've got to go to the thing. We lost so and so. We got to we got to reactivate the power to the thing, and then we've got to. Where the locusts? What are we doing with that again? Yeah, we need the DNA for. Uh... <laughs> get we got to get the thing. Get the get the sample, and then we can put the sample in the whatever. Which team am I with? Am I with the old team or the new team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm the clone girl. Mm. Who am I with? And if... everybody knows who Alan Grant is in yeah, this universe sure do, as well, yeah. which I appreciate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, should we, should we do spoilers? Let's do spoilers. I enjoyed it, but it's not good. Yeah, I'm uh, going to go with best movie ever because it's it isn't the worst movie ever. Yep. It is. It is. It has enough entertaining moments for me that I'm like, oh yeah, I didn't. I I also watched this. I got up early to watch it before I went to work. Yeah, and I and I. God, God went in the cinema. I'm like, if this is a waste of my time, I swear <laughs> to God, I could have been asleep. I could have been asleep. Uh, but I'm like, no, this this was a fun passing of the time. You've kind of turned because I was going to say worst movie ever, but. I think I am going to say best movie because I did enjoy it. Yes. But if you're looking for the original Jurassic Park, uh-huh. if you don't, uh, that's it's not this. If you don't like any of the newer ones, you're definitely not going to like this. Yes. Uh, it is of roughly equal quality. To I'm the newer concerned. ones, probably, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Look, I, and I, I think I, we've talked about also, this. Also, I love these. Yeah, right. So <laughs> sure. don't take my word for it yeah, right, uh, right. on this at all. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, obviously, as I've said in the past, James, you know this, uh, that I've said the Jurassic Park slash world movies are roughly equal in quality. saying it. But as, uh, look, I, look, I think my, my, I, my opinion has softened a little bit. Mm, because you actually watched them. <laughs> I did. Well, I hadn't watched two and three, which are markedly worse. Yeah. I think if I were to rank these movies, it would be Jurassic Park yep. 1. Mm-hmm. Uh, then all the world movies are basically the same. Okay. And then two and three. Really? Yeah. So I would go Jurassic Park 1, mm-hmm. The Lost World, yeah. Jurassic World, Jurassic mm-hmm. Park 3, Jurassic Park Dominion, Jurassic Park Fallen Kingdom. Interesting. Did I get all of those titles right? There's been six of these There's been movies, six of those movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I feel like all the, the, all the world movies, to me at least, have – they're not great, but they all have at least a, an interesting element to them – like the, I think the, the, I think they try some new things that aren't all that very successful. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but because I know, like Jurassic World, it gets a lot of criticism because it's just a dinosaur park again, and you know the the, the characters aren't as compelling. Mm-hmm. But seeing like a completely commercialized, modernized version of Jurassic Park, yep. I thought was interesting as, a, right, as an yeah. idea. Mm-hmm. And you know, and we hadn't really seen at that point a genetically engineered dinosaur and it was training raptors. And I'm like, this is, there's some there's something interesting this, yeah. ideas here. And I liked in the, in Fallen Kingdom. I didn't like that movie. But there's, isn't, I like, I like the kind of the, the, the dinosaur is stalking the kid in the house. That oh, were kind yeah. of that the horror movie vibe. Laser guided dinosaur. Yeah, dinosaur. Yeah, I, I like that in concept. Yeah, the uh, the dinosaur auction. That's fun. Yes, again yeah. in concept, I like that also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I should watch it again. Maybe I'd love it because mm. I have, haven't seen it since it came yeah. out. Yeah. Anyway, spoilers. Yes. So it's amazing in this, Mason. Go on. Let me just quickly say this, that at the start, Laura Dern's like, what is happening with these locusts? And she's like, well, they ate all my crops. And she's like, why didn't they eat all the corn? And they're like, well, that's biosyn crops. Mm. And everyone's like, hmm, what's going on? Yeah. The world would immediately figure that out. Right. You don't need any evidence for that whatsoever. It's fascinating. Again, this is this is one of the things you have to be like, all right, I'm, I'm rolling with this, I guess. The also, I mean, I know they need evidence. Yeah. Also, but. the the Go- Dodgson's plan. Dodgson is a bad name, by it's the way. So should be Dogson. 
It should be. Oh, Dodson. Yeah, yeah. Like Dodson. Or Dodson. Or Dodson. Yeah, exactly. Not both. Or Dodson Dodson. Like his family married. Like yeah. the Dodsons married the Dogsons. Donald Dodson. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but so he's playing. What is. So he, as a, as a, as a scientist or as a, as a head of this, he's a billionaire and he's head of this company or what yeah. have you. He wants to use the dinosaur technology and, and whatever to, to solve world problems like genetic diseases yes. and et cetera. And so that's why he wants the kid because she unlocks the key to the whatever. And he, that's why he wants the, the baby. Spider-Man vibes. Speaking but, of, he's Spider-Man's dad in the amazing Spider-Man Oh, movies. he is too. Yeah. So the, but the, but also he's released this plague of locusts. Does he want them to destroy all crops except biosyn crops? I mean, because one, you're right, he would figure it out. And also, I'm pretty confident everyone would die. Like, he's, if his plan was all the bios, or every crop dies except biosyn crops, and then he sells his crops to all the farmers and yeah. then they rebuild their farms. I'm pretty sure the world would end before that happens. Yeah, it's that Resident Evil umbrella corporation. Yeah. Plan. But look, it, it is spiraled out of control, yeah. whatever his initial plan was. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's a, it's the stupidest thing you could do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Also, like, yeah, because you can cure diseases, which is the thing that you're supposedly doing. You don't need to destroy do the crops. crop thing, also, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of it's a bit it's a bit overkill. Mm. And speaking of overkill, underkill, Mason, nobody dies in this. None yeah, of the old no. or new cast. Mm, just some randos. Do I want to see like like Jeff Goldblum get eaten by a dinosaur? No, but I'd appreciate it, you know, if they did something. Kill one of the world cast. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, Kill, that's true. And I, 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 like, they what? probably all have. I'm not going to die in their contract. Yeah, because they got to come back for when they get, you know, the next one, and there's 23 main characters. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Because yeah. it's the end game. Yeah, I mean, and all, I, want, I wonder if anybody, you know, I, it wouldn't surprise me if you know an, a, a, a Laura Dern or a or a um, Sam Neill or someone was like, I'll be happy to be killed. Yeah. You know, wouldn't that be a fun or, you know, make a big sacrifice or something? And you can't bring me back, right? No, yeah. there's cloning in this universe. Yeah, yeah. Ah, but also okay. I wonder if it, it also wouldn't shock me if all the cast came in and went, hey, if you want to you need to kill me for the plot, that's that's cool. That I think that would be a great dramatic beat. And then the producers are like, now we already – we already planned out all the action sequences, so you have to live. Yeah, exactly. So, you got to you got to you got to run around a car and then climb a ladder. Yeah, yeah. That's what you need to do. We precisely timed up all the running, climbing around a ladder. So speaking of running and climbing, they take the tailspin plane into New Jurassic Park. Mm-hmm. It's got another name. Doesn't fucking matter. Uh, and they're like, "Oh, you got to you can't bring that plane in here. We're gonna let the the pterodons attack you or whatever." Uh-huh. And so Chris Pratt's plan is to eject just Claire. Yes. And then so he can have a little side adventure with the pilots. Correct, yes. Why would you do that? You could have just cra- – they all could have – was it like to be like, well, one of us – well, I'm giving more of it. If one of – I'm giving more of a chance for one of us surviving to save the clone girl. Was uh-huh. that the idea I think there? so, yes. Okay, well, that's dumb. Whoa. Because that's, that's, then they have to go back for her anyway. It's like oh, it's a whole thing <laughs> just to get them separated. But, you know, I, I do like the idea of like a wild free-range Jurassic Park, which, again, we saw in the – the Lost World and Jurassic Park 3, but it seemed like a dangerous and new environment, which I mm-hmm. thought was was pretty good. But anyway, uh, so the, 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 was, the T-Rex makes the Jurassic Park logo, and that's good at one oh, point. I did say that. That was a bit, bit yeah. of fun. A bit of fun, you know, there was that. There was the um, Dodgson is killed by the compies in the similar no, no, manner the, that Nedra was the killed. Or... Is that what they are? Yeah. The f- yeah. The big frilly yeah. neck one. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. As if... <laughs> Pick up, pick up. Think you're getting a wipe? Yeah. Pick up the shaving cream cam. <laughs> you pick it up. I'm going to spit in your eyes. Don't worry about it, mate. And if I did, it's just regular spit. <laughs> I want to use my poison spit. You're not going to talk to the cops, are you, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Look up Artie Dotto. Uh, uh, ben, ben Mendelsohn, yeah. If you could. Well, see, but just the fact that, like, he even has that shaving cream can and mm. then he's like, oh, I'm taking this with me and then he gets Nedry's death in a Hyperloop tunnel. Yeah. Like, how did they... Just happened. They happen to get in and get him. It's just like okay, they got him. This yeah. guy who they recast from from five movies prior because of the sex crimes. Because of the sex crimes, that's why they they recast him. And it feels like there there was stuff like that which was just put in for the sake of it. So at the end, they they had to they funnel all because they release the locusts and they're on fire. But again, because I don't care about the law of this or any kind really. <laughs> to to like I'm sure again like and here's another thing we like. B.D. Wong in this, he's yeah. like, he's like, oh, I wish I, I just wanted to help humanity and 
and then, yeah, and I'm trapped didn't. here, and I wish I could. But wasn't he evil in yeah, the last? He was, evil. was proper evil in the last one. He comes back hat in hand at the end, like, "Oh, please, sir, I just want to, I just want to fix all the locusts. Yeah. Your mother was the best scientist. Yeah, yeah. but okay. I don't. But that's the thing. Get on the helicopter, Billy Wong. Because I'm not invested. I don't care. I'm like, all right, there he is. I saw him in the last one. Who cares? <laughs> like, I, I understand. Like, I, I have a weird reverse bias in with with this. Like, with the Marvel franchise, if a, if a character was evil in the last one, he's like, oh, I'm so sad now. I'll be like. What are you doing? You've ruined you've ruined the continuity. But with this, I'm like, I don't I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. Good, good to see Benny Wong. Uh, yeah, there? I like him. Yeah. So they they, they funnel all the dinosaurs into the into the foyer mm-hmm. at sure. the end because yeah, yeah. the because the Jurassic Park is on fire because they're released. The flaming locusts. The flaming locusts. <laughs> um they didn't I don't think they need to funnel them in though. Like they didn't need to do that. Are they all trapped in there? Was the gate oh the chip stopped working, then they wander wander off, presumably, right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The, di- the defenses yeah. are down. There. It's also interesting that the chips work in the little dinosaurs, but not in the big salad fingers dinosaurs. Yeah. Like, why wouldn't the chips work in the? Did they put a chip in the T Rex? They put a chip in the. Wait. To, well, I mean, they were all in the area, isn't that where they were supposed to be? Yeah, but I mean, isn't the chip meant to make them docile? Are oh, they I, supposed I have to no not idea. fight? Maybe everybody had left at that point, so maybe, the chips are off. Maybe because they the shut chips down. Were down. Maybe. Ooh, maybe they shut down the yeah. when they activated the thing and shut down the thing. Maybe one of the fetch quests. Shut down the chip that made them not. I fight. did see some things power up and or down. So that would very possible. Explain a lot, wouldn't it? Yeah. Maybe somebody even said it at some point. Yeah. So at the end, when they all escape on the the chips, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, the chips. Somebody said they're off or on. No, oh, no. <laughs> uh, so that when they escape on the gyro helicopter thing, yes. Then we're, they're like, okay, so the T Rex is going to fight the the, the Joker. Mm-hmm. Okay, who cares? <laughs> Oh, like no. just because you're he not d- invested in the character, just because the T Rex fights something in the end of every movie, uh-huh. you don't need to do that. T Rex would be bloody exhausted. I think that was a studio note, and then he teams yep. up with Salad Fingers, mm-hmm. and then it's like, thank God, this horrible dinosaur, the Salad Fingers one, yeah. which is you killed the other new dinosaur. But then we leave it on a cliffhanger: is the T Rex going to defeat Salad Fingers? I don't care. Wow. But yes. Yep. But like, I love how it's like these two. But of course, t- it would never, it would never win against Salad Fingers. So we're just going to have it explain. Like at the end of, at the start like, of the next they just one, nod to each other. They're just going to at the start of the next one. They're just going to be like, yeah, one off camera. Yeah, it was like the blue and the T Rex fought the the, yeah. the Indominus. It's that. It's that. They just yeah. basically did that again. Mm-hmm. But it's there was no build up. Yeah. To this to this fight that happens. Mm-hmm. Who cares? And they mm. fly and they f- fly away and 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 they, they fly away, Mason. They're they fly all in the away. Helicopter. They Lenny people. Kravitz it. They fly away. And then what I thought was like actually quite genuinely stunning uh-huh. at the end that we got a whole bunch of nature shots of like ho- like wild brumbies running and they're running mm. with dinosaurs yeah. and we see the African savanna and we see you know the elephants walking across and they're walking with diplodocuses or whatever yeah, the yeah. fuck, right? Uh-huh. And I'm like. That could be. That could have been a movie, don't you think? Yeah, for like sure. Like this movie that you're making. It, well, it, had a, it had a nice looking ending, and I think it had all, also had a very nice looking start. There's a moment which we, which is in the trailer where uh, some some fishermen they're crab fishing or something like that, and a big a big uh, um, yeah uh, sea based dinosaur jumps up and, yum, yum, yum. and eats the eats the thing and tips. This the, is mine. Tips the ship underwater. Mate, I think that I was mate, a good looking. Put your big put your big crab <laughs> crab net into the water. I'm not gonna eat it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Just put it in here and look you away. You haven't been talking to the Fishing and Gaming Wildlife Authorities, <laughs> have you, mate? <laughs> Sorry, go on. That's all I had. It's yeah. a, it was a good-looking start and a good-looking end. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Um, that's how I plan to live my life. Ugly in the middle. Yeah, nice. But I'm just going to book Just a it. beautiful silver fox at the end. <laughs> and a beautiful silver fox when you were born. <laughs> So uh, got some reviews here. First of all, Andrew Levins was supposed to come on the show this week. We couldn't light it up, uh, but you know who he we... was not a fan of the based no. on his his Twitter feed. But then he actually followed me up with uh, a private message, which said, "Actually, I love this movie. It's my favorite movie." Nice. Uh, they've got a review over at Hey Fam if you do want to check that out. So hopefully we can get him back on soon. Uh, but I've got some other tweets here. This from Liam Johnson who says, "Worst movie ever. Maybe worse than Fallen Kingdom." Oh, hello. Hello. My. Both my dog and daughter somehow got in here. No, they've snuck in. Oh, so many dogs. Hello. Hello, dogs. 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 Sorry, everybody. Momentary chaos. Eight. <laughs> like the end of Jurassic World Dominion. A the whole of, team. The whole team was here. The old crew and the new crew. <laughs> Are we the old crew? Yeah, we're the old crew. Well, that's I true. I, I knew you before I knew my family. That's, that's a great point. That's true. In a way, yeah, yeah. we have more mm. in common yeah, as yeah. well. Mm. Mm. 
And what happens is your son comes up to me and shakes my hand and says, I know you, you're very well respected. That's what he says of me. <laughs> very true. That's right. Uh, anyway, I was reading some reviews. He doesn't leave a transformer or something on the ground. He's like, pick up the transformer. <laughs> pick up the transformer. It's probably your favourite. <laughs> Oh, kind of is my favourite. Pick it up. Pick it up in another's bag. It's going to happen, mate. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> uh, Liam Johnson says, worst movie ever. Maybe worse than Fallen Kingdom. Honestly, wow. can't get over how the movie was more about locusts and dinosaurs and locusts that could somehow form a locust inferno. All good points. Great points. I can't argue <laughs> with any of that. Brad Perry says, well, Jurassic World Dominion is one hell of a big swing. And I mostly like it. Not as captivating as the original or as gorgeous as Fallen Kingdom, but still good. Got to respect a franchise that rarely makes the same movie twice. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Uh, and Treasure the Cat says, hey, James and Meso, so we just watched Jurassic World Dominion. It somehow had too many things happening and made me bored at the same time. Worst movie ever. Why is it so hard to make a good Jurassic Park sequel? Now, that's a great question mm. because there are no genuinely great Jurassic Isn't it wild? World Park sequels. And we are in the era of legacy, legacy sequels. sequels, which is yeah. somebody, somebody who loved the original, whether it be what we, you know, Tron Legacy, or what was the what was the most recent thing? We literally it was was in was in like the last week or so. Oh, it's a quick shout out to to Lockie who I ran into uh watching Jurassic World Dominion. Terrific. Uh, just yeah, nice. sorry, I just want to What was the that. other legacy call? Uh, very recent. recently we got a very good one, Top Gun. Top Gun, there it is, yeah. Uh, and Mad Max is a good one. Yeah, yeah. Uh Blade Runner was a good one. Tron yeah. Legacy was a good one. There we go. Because it had so, the word legacy. Yeah. So it's so it's you know in a lot of instances, not Mad Max, but in a lot of instances, it's people who really loved the original and they've it's been swirling around yeah. in their head for decades and they come out and they've written or produced or directed this new thing which has And also Mad Max maybe isn't a sequel because they're all set in a different oh, yeah, universe. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, but whatever. But it's but, yes. but it's you know, it's in, and they 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 have all the great stuff that they remember from the original and they've they've modernized and what have you. But it's interesting that they have yet to do it. And it's been like it's it's been thirty years yeah. since since. Do you think the maybe if they had have just stopped and thought about it for a second? No time for that, James. There's no time. There's no you shouldn't think Simply about no it. But if you have to think about it, you probably should, as the quote goes. That's true. <laughs> from Jurassic World and or Park. Yes. Yeah. All in all. And then everyone applauded. Yeah. They're gonna keep making these though, right? I mean, because they make money. This yeah. one, made, these make. I mean, I, I think true. the drop off's going to be mm. could be pretty significant depending on word of mouth. Because I think a lot of people like us will just go, "Oh yeah, well, it's oh, yeah. Do you, oh, yeah." Do you think it's because we all have an inherent love for dinosaurs from childhood? Yes, because I also have, like as I mentioned, an inherent love for Transformers, mm. but I didn't like the Transformers movies. Yeah, but they don't really resemble any of. The no, that's that true. Like. I guess it's easy to just go, "Hey, dinosaurs! Look at mm. that! It's big and hey, look at that! It's big and it's got spines." What do you reckon about that? What do you look at that dinosaur? <laughs> no, I shan't be tricked anymore. <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I got an interesting tweet this week. I just want to quickly bring up, which talks about that specifically. Okay. okay. Why isn't my computer the fastest computer in the world, Mason? You should deliberately buy bad ones that explode after six months. <laughs> Not deliberately. Oh, okay. <sighs> Hang on, I got to through my got to go through my awful Twitter, my own profile to find this because I replied to somebody. I can't find it. Anyway, someone tweeted me that was like. Why is there only, I'm so sorry to that person, why is there only like Jurassic Park? Like what? why are they the only movie, movies that are doing this? Why isn't there a whole bunch of dinosaur-based yeah. movies, right? Like, I mean, not you know, because <laughs> even like with Transformers, we see mechs and shit. And yeah, right, like right, right, right. Of, uh-huh. you know, and we, this is the only one that does this. Is and- it Fear of Spielberg? And I don't mean Fear of Spielberg the man, but like, yes. Do you think? I I wonder if it's you know the first one is so highly regarded that people are like, I I daren't. Um, is is it people are like? Is it filmmakers are like? Well, we do, we daren't do this. He's or he like, knocked it out of the park. We cannot. We can't do this as well as he did. Or, what, but what what would you do with dinosaurs outside oh. of bringing them back to the modern day? Would it be time travel? Yeah, that is a good. Would point. it be an alternate reality where dinosaurs and humans? Uh, that you think of Super Mario Brothers. I am. I am. You're right. <laughs> Would they remake Super Mario I, Brothers? I mean, and also, Legacy sequel. And, and the thing that they've always been promising slash threatening, which is the dinosaur-human hybrids yeah. in the Jurassic franchise, which I've always wanted to see, but I wonder if people would be like pretty juvenile compared to a Jurassic Park. You know where, what I mean? With the majesty of a Jurassic Park. Mm. Anyway, I don't know what they're doing with yeah. this, and I don't know what's next. But Probably they, another Jurassic Park. Yeah, mm. and they build another Jurassic Park. Do they need to build a Jurassic Park if the dinosaurs are in the world? It'd be like 
For us, it'd be like, do you want to go to a place that just has kangaroos to look at? Not really. But there are those, though. Yeah, I know. It's but, guaranteed. Yeah, but are you going there? Maybe. When? Do I get a when can- are you going to I, Hillsville Sanctuary? Do I get Mason? a kangaroo sausage? Can I get a kangaroo sausage? I don't. Th- yeah, you can choose the kangaroo. They'll shoot it in front of you and make it into a sausage. Nice. Yeah, I yes. know. A kangaroo. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> do you 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 want that typical food that a kangaroo eats? We put it in front of you. You want that? It's probably a grain or a seed yeah, or something. A grain or seed, maybe a leaf. I don't know. You want that? <laughs> you want that? We're not going to shoot you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so anyway, if you got any opinions, I'd I'd actually be curious to like how do people were responding to this because mm. most people I I know don't like it. You know, within within the, this sort of thing that we do. Yeah, yeah. But the I don't know. Public. I don't know if that's necessarily the great the unwashed masses. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. And again, I think I have a bias to it, and you have a bias, but in the opposite way that you don't care about any of this. Correct, yes. yes. <laughs> Terrific. Are you, are, are you folks, are you out there, are you just letting it wash over you? What are you doing? You know? mm. Great questions. All right, Mason, uh, it's time for the next segment of the show. Ooh, the section is called What We Reading. What, what We Gonna Read. called? Yeah, that's right. And, uh, yeah, it's and the theme. And we're going to do it now. And nice. the theme is definitely ready. I'm just... Uh, just like to drag it out because people love it and I don't mm. just want to get it over with, you know what I mean? I want to build the anticipation. Yeah, yeah, they want to hear more of you talking. It's here now, though. Shut up. I'm doing the thing. I think we both watched uh, the same thing this week, Mason, did we not? Well, I mean, uh, in between recording the last segment and this segment, we did listen to an old Martin Malloy sketch called Clacker. Because we are, uh, for some reason... We got caught up on whether <laughs> doesn't what are we doesn't doing? matter. It, it's not important. <laughs> it doesn't require any context. Just look it up on YouTube. It's there. Yeah. But we did watch the. You got to have t- you got to have knowledge of the TV show Cracker starring Robbie, Robbie Coltrane, Coltrane to yes. understand it at all. Yeah, but anyway, uh, we both watched Marvels. Ms. Marvel. Yes, that's episode one. Yeah. yeah, I actually got a screener for this and two, but I because we're not reviewing these stuff this stuff week to week anymore. I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna. Just gonna enjoy this. Just gonna luxuriate. I'm just gonna, it. I'm just gonna watch it. And boy, what a way to watch a show. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? I bloody loved it. It was cool, man. Yeah, I liked it was. It a lot. It's interesting that they didn't go because you know the the previous big release on Disney Plus was Obi Wan Kenobi, and it yeah. was two episodes. Yeah. And is that because Obi Wan Kenobi's storytelling was very sparse? I feel yes. like it initially, felt, at least. Yeah, yeah, and it felt like just one episode, mm. kind of. You know, it was just very. You know, the environment was very desolate, but it was very like, like a lot of pondering and yeah. and silence. But this, I think they released just the one episode because it's, it's like it's very dense. It's like, there's a yep. lot of like yep. there's a lot of character building. There's a lot of jokes. There's a lot of visual. I liked all the really visuals really in this, interesting yeah. visuals. It um, was a mix of kind of your far from home aesthetic, not far from home, no way home. You know, like the hand drawn. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also some Spider Man um, shattered. To, no. Into the Spider Verse, yes, yes. had that, which is intentional. Yeah, yeah. well, and, and of course, obviously, the, the all the John Watts Spider Man movies at the end credits are kind of like they're fun yes. animated, and, what, and it had very much a vibe to totally. of that. I think, like, it's some which is not always translated to the actual movies. Yeah, right. I think what yeah. is interesting about this is it, 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 especially for a Marvel production, it does take some some mm. liberties, and I guess the 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 because it's TV and it's not. The big Hollywood blockbuster that's relying on a box office, you know, huge box office yeah. return. They're like, well, you, you can you can take some chances visually here if you like. Stuff in and there, I yeah. think you know, visuals were very strong. They were like, okay, how are we going to depict? There's going to be a lot of characters texting probably because it's young people. Yes. How do we do that? Are we just going to do a bubble on screen? No, we'll do it through. Yeah. Uh, well, the environment uh, and neon I signs. That and I thought that was really clever, interesting. Yeah. You know, just just simple stuff of like, you know, there's a, there's a moment where Kamala Khan she like falls backwards onto a couch mm. and the camera f- goes with her. I thought that was interesting. Yeah. I don't know if there's a rig for that or something like that. Uh, I know in uh, they did that in, what's that? Um, I've forgotten the name of the movie and the guy who created it. Lee Winnell. Okay, yes. Upgrade. Upgrade. Yep. They put like an iPad on a person and get it to track the camera. I wonder if it, uh, maybe. that. Yeah, anyway. um, but it's just, I thought interesting visuals or like, you know, they're the, Kamala Khan and her, and her best friend Bruno, they're talking about yeah. like the various options of uh, Kamala wants to go to it's a- It's called Bruno. He should have a mustache. Right? Exactly. <laughs> like Bruno Mars. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're, they're um, you know, walking through the neighborhood and they're discussing what kind of cosplay, Captain Marvel yeah. cosplay uh, Kamala's going to wear. And instead of just the, they're talking about it, there's, uh, you know, we see it as graffiti on the sides of the walls. I thought that was really interesting. And- 
animated graffiti and yeah, yeah. yeah and there was the, there was the moment where they're discussing their big plan to to sneak out of the house and go to AvengerCon, mm. and I loved that it. it was a fun a superhero scene, and I loved that her cosplay in real life is just a homemade cosplay, but her cosplay in the yeah. in the dream sequence is like the the Brie Larson full yeah, Hollywood like Captain Marvel suit. Accurate, I thought that was yeah. fun, but yeah, and apart from all that, uh, I think. Iman Vellani is doing a really good job as a character. Yeah. She's funny. She's energetic. I like that. She's actually a teenager. She's actually a teenager. A That's true, difference. yeah. I, I've seen a bunch of people say that it's also feels like it was because she's Pakistani in this uh-huh. and it's like representative of their home life and their parents. It's very accurate yeah, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, obviously it would be depending where you're from. That's true. But being you know somebody in, you know, in the US coming from a different place you know, mm. and your parents aren't up to date with like the current – Culture, or uh-huh. you know, you basically you, you've got a foot in both worlds. I thought they—that's not my experience at all. But I thought they handled that well. And from what other people are saying, is yeah, know, I loved it. I loved. Yeah. I loved. Uh, I thought she was great. The family is fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, the dad, especially, I thought yes. it was fun. Do you like his Hulk costume? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I like the best friend. Yeah, just just a just a good dynamic. And what's interesting is you get to the end of the first episode and you're like, oh, there wasn't a big fight in the first ten minutes. There wasn't a big action battle sequence. They weren't yeah. like they didn't they didn't have and, and they they could just do that. And it wasn't a case somebody didn't go, okay, well in the first ten minutes we have to show this is a Marvel movie, so we're gonna have you know uh, some some villains rob a bank, costume villains or whatever rob a bank, or yeah. there's a the, the the there's an alien invasion and. The main characters look and go, "Wow, that's really cool," or whatever. Mm. You know, yeah. it just we just had a fun comedy drama, and it was. You kind good. of forget that it's about a superhero, yeah. Until the superhero, until stuff the superhero happens. stuff happens, yeah. Uh, yeah. What do you think of the powers, though? It's like a crystal Green Lantern. Yeah, power well, look, like I said, with um, I and think it's just from a magic bracelet they find. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'd like yeah. a bit more. I'm sure they're going to do it because yeah. you get a hint at like that's part of a greater thing. Yeah, which might tie into the other, like the Ten Rings. Yeah, of, exactly. Of, yeah, uh, of Shang Chi and etc. Uh, I, I mean, I liked it. I think the, the, you know, the seems like an easier effect to do for. It does. Seem, it certainly does yeah. seem like an easier effect. And I, my, I think I've said this before when we talked about you know the trailer that I think it's because she's going to have to team up with Captain Marvel mm. and uh, Photon in yeah. the Marvels, and so she, they're going to go to space, and she needs space-based powers because yeah. stretching isn't going to work. Mm. If the other two can fly, you can make a space suit with yeah. Them and if the other yeah. two can fly and shoot lasers, yeah. and fly through space, and she's like, "Well, I guess I could stretch my lungs really big, yeah. see how long I can survive in space." It's not going to work. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's probably the main reason they did that. But I think it's pretty good. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's real good. Yeah, I agree. Mm. Should we come back and watch another episode? No, I think we should solve it. Okay, I agree. Because yeah, yeah, you know it's pretty good, and let's not ruin it for ourselves. Diminishing returns, I think. I agree. After that, uh, do you been you been watching anything? Uh, I mean, you know, bits and pieces. I'm playing some more Sniper Elite and whatever. Then and, and I watched the Jurassic World movie this week. Oh, yeah, Jurassic World. Which one doesn't matter? Not, re- not really. Have, important, I, I have no. seen uh, that. Mm. And any uh, you? I think so. No, just just just. Uh, I yeah, bought that just... new Batman comic where he's sitting in front of computer screens. What's that one called? What's that mean? It's called Batman Plays Solitaire. Oh. No, it's called, what is it? Batman beats Minesweeper, but he did the thing where he cheated. And made it really big, and then he just clicked one button and he solved it, yeah. Batman Fortress. Ah. Uh, Have you seen this? No. Oh. Yeah, so I've I've heard good things. So I I haven't, I know I might talk about that next week when I actually read it. Terrific. Yeah. Anything else? I think that's it this week. Just, Just watching that rock video over and over again. Yeah, that's right. Pretty good. I get some of that energy drink. I've lost it. I feel like I nailed it before. I know I've lost it, Mason. Well, I never even heard you do it. Uh, <laughs> the rock wouldn't shut up. <laughs> All right, should we do it to the next segment? Let's do the, the letters show? segment, and I'm going to put up the thing to the letters segment right now. The classic one was letters, oh letters, we love you. Some letters, they're only a take away. I'm going to hear right now. We're going to do letters. Wow. It's me, James, and I'm here to tell Hi, you James. that it's letters time. And if you want to reach the show, hashtag weeklyplanetpod on Twitter or weeklyplanetpod at gmail.com. Uh, so I'm going through some tweets with the hashtag weeklyplanetpod. Mason is going through the Gmail. Would you like to go first or would um, you like me to go I first? I would love to go first, James. This is from Vinton from Montreal. Okay. Vinton says, hey, guys. What up? Just wanted to share a dumb thing I did because listening to your pod in these past couple of fun years have loosened my grip on reality. Yeah. The other day, a friend of mine gave birth to a beautiful and healthy baby. When I finally got to visit them, I said without thinking, hey, congratulations on your fresh baby. (laughs) 
<laughs> she did not find that funny. I proceeded to leave as soon as I could. At least they liked the gift. Uh, keep up the good work. <laughs> Hope to see you live someday. Vinton from Montreal. I have no memory of saying. I don't remember that either. I'm sure I've <laughs> said that to people as well. I'd be like, yeah, this is a fresh-ass baby. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure I say that to people all the time. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not common, just to be clear. No, don't do it. <laughs> it's strange. But I just, I've, I've read this one out because I love the idea that I have no con- – I, I, I guess you said it. I don't know. <laughs> I, have no, I have no memory of who said that. I think I said that last week. I can think of the person that I said it to as well. Interesting, yeah. okay. I think there's something wrong with me. I guess I should stop doing it. I don't right. think I will, though. <laughs> Probably no. forget. Yeah. What's fresh about them? They're just fresh, man. Yeah, they're okay, like sure. completely spotless. Do you know what mm. I mean? They got no, they got like no like freckles or like they yeah, smell right. a certain way. It sounds, uh-huh. I, this sounds bizarre. But if you've they seen an hard like one, they smell like hospital grade disinfectant. You, no, not even. If you've, like seen, if you've seen an hard one, as opposed to like a kid that's like a few months old, there is a difference. That's uh, you know? probably true. Yeah. I used to be able to look at a baby and be like. That kid's three and a half months old. I could I could look at a baby and tell you how old the baby was. Now I can't do that anymore. Mm. I've lost my power, Mason. Uh, anyways, and you know, with the first kid, and you'll you'll appreciate this. You you know you know ex- people ask like how old your kid is, and then you're like, well, you know, they're six and a half months and whatever. Mm-hmm. I have no idea how old my kids are anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. <laughs> anyways, but I love them, and isn't that important enough? Yeah, I guess. Great. Yeah. I've got a tweet. Here, I mean, Mason. ideally, they would say more fun things that we can turn into content on the yeah, podcast. I know, right. But I guess yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. we'll see what the new one does. She's two, so I reckon mm. soon. I hope so. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think the new one is. I think the the older one is too canny now. I think he knows that we're just mining him for content. So <laughs> he, and he has, clams up a and bit. And he has that gun. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to cross that kid anymore. Yeah. This is from Scott Wilkinson, who says. Uh, I'm sure you've been asked hashtag Weekly Planet Pod, uh, but are we ready for another superhero showdown? It's been a while. Are we running out of superheroes? Maybe we could do different versions of Batman, Superman, Bond, etc. Uh, so yeah, if people don't know. We we used to do these much more where we just pick people and <laughs> make it, them fight. make them fight and sure. how that would go. Yeah, yeah. I don't know because I, I, not that it's run its course, but well maybe it has. But I I don't know if I can bring anything. Oh, fresh to the table, yeah. like a fresh baby. You know, what do yeah, you think? Sure. No, I reckon we can do it again. Okay, well, yeah. let's do it again. Yeah. And if it's bad, people can just tell us. Be like, I mean, nah. we could just, you know, we could just do um, characters threatening you with a gun and asking That's you to true. pick something up off the, yeah. off the ground. That's right. That's also an option, isn't it? I love that. Oh, no, John from Garfield is threatening me with a gun. I could take John from Garfield. Even with a gun? Yeah, Okay. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, just put, throw him a, a cup of dog semen. That would distract <laughs> yes, him. Yes, that's true, yeah. It's a real comic. Look into it. Anyway, Mason, go on. Uh, This is from Alex. Here's a question. I I think we may have covered this before, but I I wanted to get a fresh perspective, James. I love a fresh perspective. Um, Hey, lads, just finished watching the Bart versus Australia episode of The Simpsons and remember it generating a lot of controversy in Australia at the time. I was just wondering, as an Australian, what do you think of the episode when it was released and the upheaval it created? We've talked about this. Mm. I always thought it was funny. Yeah, same. Yeah. Yeah. Is that is that revisionist on our behalf? Oh, so, oh, we're supposed to I be remember the, people getting mad. We're about supposed it. to be the country that like, and I don't actually think this is true. That like make fun. You can make fun of us, and you can make mm. fun of yourself. And we're just a bunch of larrikins. But as we mentioned, a bunch of fucking like r- rule following nerds here. That's really a lot of cops. What, it's really a lot of cops. Really what we are. A lot of cops. A lot of. Uh, a lot of like you can't say that or this is a certain mm. way that you're supposed to be and, and whatever. So, mm. but yeah, I, I always thought it was funny, and it's probably I think it's gotten funnier also. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I like it. I also like it. I mean, I'd love to see them attempt it now. (laughs) Oh, my God, we've run into Chris Hemsworth or whatever. What are you doing here? I'm just here to promote the Rocks energy drink. (laughs) 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 Incredible. Have they ever done a movie together? Great question. I'd like to see who's bigger height-wise. Mm. I know they've got celebrity heights, but I want to see them next to each other. I mean, there's you like, see like Shaq next to the Rock, and you're like, "How tall is any of those? What the right? fuck is happening here?" Yeah. I mean, again, there there is you know there's the there, there there's enough crossover because as we mentioned, Hemsworth's wife is in the some of the oh yeah some of the Fast and Furious movies, and he's in some of the Fast and Furious oh yeah movies. she's I think they're partners also yeah so they would have met they would certainly met yeah mm. they would probably discussed pro- future projects no doubt. Yeah. Four versus Black Adam. We should do another Men in Black movie. What do yes. you, you can be Black Adam and I yeah. can be Men in Black. Okay, but can I be the strongest man in black? Men in Black Adam. Very Atom. Good. Atom. What's his name? Black Adam. Yes. It's not Black Atom, is it's it? It's not Black Atom, no. Very good. Can't wait for that movie <laughs> that I remember the name of. Is he the only superhero whose name is just his name's in the – his name's Adam? Just a guy named Adam? That's a great question. Mm. Surely not. 
Email in, folks. Yeah, there we'll would think, be we'll one, think right? about it. Yeah, I think so. it must be, yeah. There'd yeah. be like a prequel called like... <laughs> Go on. I can't think of anything. <laughs> you know, they were like, if it was a Superman prequel, it would be yeah. called Clark. That's sure. not an example because mm-hmm. the Superman prequel is called Smallville. Smallville we all yes. know that. Yeah. Anyways, uh, what else, Mason? Um, oh, here, this is from Jay. Just as a big thank you for the great mates. Dear James and Mason, just wanted to take a minute to thank you and the whole social media team for cultivating such an accepting and inclusive community. As a mega fan of Ms. Marvel, I can't tell you how glad I am that the barrage of negativity from toxic folks on the internet has no place among the great mates. We can and do disagree without getting nasty. And When I see a laugh react, I know it's because a mate made a funny joke. Not because Brie Larson leaves the cap off the toothpaste or whatever. Yeah, uh, I knew the, she did Keep that. up the great work. That's from Jay. Uh, oh, thanks, well, that's, you, Jay. that's not and that's us. Over at, <laughs> no, well, that, that's yeah. over at the, uh, um, the Great Mates, uh, Planet Broadcasting Great Mates Facebook group, yeah. uh, which has been moderated by uh, all the greats, Fidel mm. and Sarabi and Marty mm-hmm. and Maisie mm-hmm. uh, and, uh, of course, Rob Collings. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, there's the weekly Planet Discord and Reddit. That's right, exactly. All, 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 everybody's having a great time and being nice to each other or else. Or else. Yeah. You're out of some of those things that we control. That's right. Some of them we do not. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, I, I I don't know because I get a lot of like insane stuff on YouTube, um, <laughs> and like there's things in like I get a lot of like for, for Obi Wan. It's like, well, isn't it really the Reva show or whatever? Oh, you know, it's like not really. She's like barely in it, mm. and and all like what? So it's racist to be like I don't like this person. Well, I guess not strictly, but like <laughs> you could you could see how like why why you why you caught up on this. So much, you know, and I, I've seen some of the negative backlash to Miss Marvel and I just, I was going to say, I don't know why. I know why, mm. but uh, it, it's not a bad show. It's a good show. But it's also, you're allowed to not like it. Yeah. But just, just don't have to be a, a if you like, to other if you, people. Yeah, I mean, if you like, but also if you like, if you're like, I love Marvel because it's got big time action sequences and everything's exploding. Show's not finished yet. Yeah. So maybe there just will be some ready. of that. There's going to be a yeah. big explosion. Just if, if you want to be critical of that and you can, just wait till the end. And if there isn't a big time, big time, yeah. big fight explosion, then. But what if your criticism is there wasn't a big explosion in episode one? Is that a valid criticism? I mean, if did Kevin Feige promise a big explosion? Yeah, he went on um, his Instagram and he said. <laughs> okay, great. He said there would be. Wow, he's betrayed us for the last time. I agree. Mm. Uh, hey, Kevin Feige. <laughs> pick, up, pick up this baseball cap. <laughs> you, wanna, you, wanna, you, like, you like your little baseball cap, so you want to pick that one up. Are you wearing a baseball cap? Put two baseball caps on, mate. <laughs> you can do that. One forward, one backwards, put it on. <laughs> uh, I've got another tweet here, Mason. I'm ready. Uh, it's from Rodri R who says, I'm late to this. But if you do a contest gone wrong episode, the Who Shot Mr. Burns contest had a, has a very disappointing ending. I think we talked about this on Big Sandwich, didn't we? An oh, I'm sure of, we did. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was a contest to do with what was it? I can't remember. It was a not some. Uh, was it the Pepsi thing? Yeah, it was a Pepsi. Pepsi thing. bucks. It was yeah, to win yeah. a jet fighter. Yeah. Well, I, I, I know, I know you have a fascination with that as well. Yeah. I don't know whether it could be. We a could whole do other. Peter Molyneux's Cube. Yeah. I, yeah, that's right. Maybe we should do this. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. On Big Sandwich or here? On here? They're done. Let's do it Terrific. now. No, Mason, let's do another letter. Okay. Uh, I've got one while you, while you are away. Okay, I'll are away. Some you, you Lewis. Find a letter. He says, hey, James and Meso's brother. That's you, right? Yes. Which one are you this week? You're Meso's brother, aren't you? Yes. But that could be either. Correct. Good. I'm reading the Hannibal Lecter books and watching the Hannibal TV series. What's your favorite Hannibal and why and which human would you eat? Hashtag worthy planet pod. Uh, TV Hannibal for sure. 100% Mads Mickelson is Hannibal. Yep. The best one. And Anthony Hopkins is great. Yeah, yeah. But he's only in like three Hannibal movies. And it's and like in the the, the the show gives the character more time to breathe, exactly. I think. Yeah. And, and he's, he's also got the best outfits. What about the mind hunter, uh, Brian Cox was him in like the 80s? Oh, in Manhunter. Manhunter, that's nah, it. Not for me. I haven't nah. seen it actually. <laughs> is it good? Sorry. Great. Yeah. It's got Peter, uh, it's got William Peterson. Mm. Happy with that? Mm. It's got Joan Allen. Great. Yeah, but no, Hannibal's good and it'll probably come back, right? I don't think so. I think they've ah, people people are always people talking are busy. About They're all busy. Who's busy? Who's busy, Mason? Mads Mickelson is busy. Who else is in that show? Gillian Anderson is busy. Is she in that? Yeah, she was his psychiatrist. Lawrence Fishburne, is he busy? Yeah, probably. He's busy making Matrix sequels oh, or yeah. not being in Matrix sequels. <laughs> Anyway, Anymore? his schedule is full. That's right. Uh, some Richard Grimes. Hello, And Richard. from a number of people. Uh, hey, guys. So the little TCB and lightning flash that appears uh, about Elvis in the new movie is not a Baz Luhrmann production logo, but is, in fact, Elvis's own logo stands for taking care of business. Uh-huh. Richard says, as a big Elvis fan, I actually have this logo as a tattoo on my arm. I, so this is late period Elvis when he I just want to clarify that uh, 
You never thought that? No, I didn't. Well, I didn't know or think anything about this. But thank you to you for saying that because I got hundreds of <laughs> comments about Terrific. that. Well, I didn't even get that many, and I said it. I was the one who said it. You know, I was confused because I did watching Jurassic World. They put the Elvis trailer in front of that. They did, and there is another logo at the start, which which I think is Baz Luhrmann's production logo. And I think I got yeah confused. TCB. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. All right. Good- goodbye, everybody. Anyway, we all know now. We all know we? now. That's right. Yeah, yes. we have taken care of business. Mm, that's right. Yeah. We have taken care of business. <laughs> we took, which it. I believe is what his band was called. <laughs> is that the show? <laughs> yes, that's the whole show. Thanks, folks, so much for listening. Thank you uh, for for sticking with us. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you. Uh, for telling your friends about the podcast. Thank you for leaving a five-star review on your podcast platform of choice because that's how it gets in front of new people. James, do you have any reviews? Hey, got two reviews here, Mason. Terrific. You can just do it in app. This is from Movie Listener 45 who says, Two great Australian men. I love this show and listen very frequently. They are very funny and nice and have a good and good movie opinions. I could not for the life of me tell you which one is Nick and which one is Mesa, but either way I like them. Thank you so much. And this is from ESK7 and then that upside, then that triangle. Thing, whatever that is, and then a seven said, "Read this on on yonder podcast, listener since 2014. Clean your rooms, everyone. Five stars. Thank you, Mr. Peterson Mason. It's what wonderful. else do you have for us? What else I have here is, folks, folks. If you want to get into contact with us, you can go. Wow. To, you, go you go to Weekly Planet Pod at gmail dot com, or at Facebook, or at Twitter, or at Bandcamp, or at those uh, bloody forum situations we mentioned earlier. Uh, also, uh, if you want to support the show, you can go to Patreon dot com slash Mr. Sunday Movies. If you want to chuck in a buck or any amount uh, you wouldn't miss. You can also go to bigsandwich.co for nine US dollars per month. You get all sorts of bonus podcasts and movie commentaries and all kinds of stuff. You wouldn't bloody you wouldn't bloody believe it over there. If you want to follow us, you can go you can follow me at Wikipedia Brown on Twitter and on Instagram. You can follow me at Nick Maso. James is Mr. Sunday Movies everywhere. But the real star of the show is our friend Rob Collins. You can mm-hmm. follow him at Raw Collins on Twitter and at the Weekly Planet on Twitter for all sorts of weekly planet updates. Uh, you can also uh, bloody th- uh, thank our friends The Brute and The Basilisk and Rack and Fruit for all our musical themes. How do they do it? Uh, probably musical uh, apps or instruments or something. I don't know what they do. A combination. Yeah, a combination of those things. I Probably. Uh, you can also get T-shirts on tpublic.com. I mean, you can get any kind of T-shirt, but if you want a Weekly Planet-specific T-shirt, you can go to the... Week, you can go to tpublic.com, you can search for the Weekly Planet. Yes, yes, yes. Um, or you can go to uh, Redbubble and you can look up our friend Weekly Planet posters. He's got all sorts of wacky, weird and wacky I stuff. I would love that. It's good. Next week, yes. uh, Jurassic, no, <laughs> Lightyear. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's watch Lightyear. I'm, cool. I'm excited to see that. Apparently it's very good. All right. Cool. All right, everybody. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you next week. And goodbye. <laughs>